here, y'all know who we are. I mean, we could briefly introduce ourselves, but we really, really want to give the floor to Tasia. So we could just start with Leslie briefly. Hey, y'all. I'm Leslie. Um, y'all know me as Good Girl Les, and thank you for coming back. Yeah, I'm Alicia. Everyone knows me as Alicia. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy that this season about to it's about to hit different. So so different. Yes, Nova. Right, I just I just popped in my head too. <laughs> like, um, you can catch me at Naturally Me or Fit Me Naturally or Temple and Aura because it's Nova in your aura on Twitter. Ooh, but here okay. I am. <laughs> oh, I'm Laura. <laughs> You crack me up. Go after her. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone? Um, my name is Tasia. This is my first time on the podcast, as previously mentioned. Um, I'm an artist, so musically I go by T2 Times. You know, I have um, some exciting stuff coming out on the music side this year. And then outside of that, I'm really into just like holistic and authentic living. And that's how I connected with these amazing ladies here. Um, so let's get this party started. <laughs> okay, now, now we can get into So my question was, the video that we posted, the lady was going off about how women will choose a relationship with a man or like their intimate partner over their friendship with said lady. How do y'all feel about that? We feel like it's the truth. Mm -hmm. It's facts. Have I mean, y'all yeah. experienced it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's been a thing unsaid since, you know, you were in grade school. Like, I don't know why, but... At, no, since middle school. Like, after a certain point, once when, like, puberty come into play, like, something happens where um, sometimes you gravitate more to towards the opposite sex, mm -hmm. you know, for validation, for gratification, for comfort, and... I mean, I, I just realized in middle school, I saw more boy crazy behavior in that period of time in my life where I could tell the friends, who go, girl, you all about the mm -hmm. boys, like, boy this, boy that, boy that. And usually those type of people transcended to being the ones who would choose that relationship over that friend no matter what. It's like if you're interfering, if you're doing anything that may hinder what I have going on with the man I choose right now, then I don't want you around because I'd rather have him. Okay, so that sounds... So I feel like when I was, like, thinking about this, I kind of felt two types of ways because I do understand it from that perspective. Like, it's not... Like, that obviously is very unhealthy. But then I also feel like in some cases, and I feel like it may depend on how it's communicated or if it's communicated or, you know, the circumstances of the situation. But in some cases, you kind of just, like... I personally feel if you're really my friend me having this experience in life as long as i was respectful of it i shouldn't have to talk to you every day you should be happy that you know wow you're you found someone that you feel so compatible with that you want to enjoy so much time with them and you want to create all these memories friendship can span over years and years and years just like a relationship could but in the early stages of course if it's Good and healthy. I'm only speaking on good and healthy. I was just about to say, I'm I'm like, only that, that only applies to one Only spectrum. good and healthy here, because yeah. like I said, it's very circumstantial. But in the situation that it is like a friend just being absorbed in a relationship that's good for them, why take it personally? You know, just take that time to do what you have to do. <laughs> I'm holding it in. I'm trying to shut the fuck up this season, but no, this is the issue. Read that book. <laughs> no. Y'all not gonna do me this season. No, come on. No, so, okay, so this is it right here. Oh, that's cute. That's fine and then when it's healthy. If Look, it's I don't even care what you want to call it. But baby, this is, this is my issue right here. This is where we about to crack it open. Because I don't care about you loving your man. I don't care about you dating your man. Mm -hmm. I don't even care if your man wanna take you out of you. Like, girl, I know we said we was about the Yoni steam, but Bay said you got a surprise and I'll and I'm be like girl go get the surprise go right. run it up go get it mm. My issue is that when that ninja piss you off You're gonna talk stuff. You're gonna come cry on me I'm gonna be like girl you bad you can do better and then when he come back you are gonna be like Okay, he back. I'm okay, good that's... and if I piss you off you gonna tell Ashley Mm -hmm. Stacy, all three that I'm not shit and you're not gonna want to talk to me no more. Okay. That's the issue. I don't care about nobody relationship or 
how they checking for their man and what they're doing in their relationship. And if I feel left out and I'm lonely, I lost my friend. I don't even care about none of that. Because I'm about to, if, I, if, I if, if everybody that. around me got hoes and I ain't got that. no hoes, what that tell me to do? Go get some hoes. Because I'm <laughs> not the game. I'm not playing the game right. Why is everybody else dating and I'm not dating? Mm -hmm. Like... So, I'm going to go put myself in a position to catch whatever blessings I feel like I'm missing. However, that's not the issue. The issue at hand is that when it comes to beef, why are we so quick-winded to scissor, Edward scissor fingers, your, your sisters, mm -hmm. but you keep letting these misters come back and reuse and abuse. They get in the trial period. They coming back signing up as another motherfucker, getting another <laughs> trial period, and they just keep changing the face and signing up for another 30 days to fuck up your life and you keep letting them but let me do one thing let me spend you one time let me say one thing that didn't make you feel perfect or at agree ease your, or agreeable or and you're gonna cut me the fuck <laughs> off mm -hmm. and it ain't no coming back from it fuck her that's why i don't fuck with bitches <laughs> <laughs> since no, all i told you all i said <laughs> all i said was chick-fil-a trash and you <laughs> I'm being trivial, but for real, like that's what it feels like. Mm -hmm. It's like I can I can name three people right now that's dating exes, mm -hmm. and we on a form of our outskirts over stupid shit. Mm -hmm. But y'all cool with being, uh, you know, like you want to be my permanent ex, but this nigga done been back three times. He got more motherfucking lives than Jason, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like <laughs> and that's that's really what we're getting into. So if you want to weigh in on that, even if y'all want to weigh in on that, because that's the difference. That's what it is right now. Anybody in your circle should be happy for where you are in your love life, especially when it's healthy and good and you're getting treated good. I see my friends getting treated like shit. I want to take my scarf off and my earrings and I want to fight for them. That's just me. If I see my yeah. friendships, if I see my friends in situations where they're happy and they're growing and they're even emotionally just getting better at the art of relationships, <laughs> I'm happy for that. And I'm never going to interfere in that. I'm never going to throw shade on that. Mm -hmm. But it's when it's it's in the form of the the beefs and the trivial things that people want to get so but scissor happy. But someone will fall out with you over that. Why even concern yourself with that person? I mean, yeah, it's unfortunate mm -hmm. that you've you've put your time and energy into them. But if that's who they show themselves to be, I mean, take it to the chin, chalk it up. It was nice while I knew you. Have a good life. Like, but that's I don't the know thing. <laughs> we don't have to keep doing that. Where the the the, the map was being lacked is communication. What's being lacked yeah. is care. What's being lacked is love. So it's just like I could sit there and be like, all right, if that's how you want to respond, you're cut off. But shit, she feeling like, okay, if that's how you want to respond, our relationship, you're cut off. But we are so easy to, we're so quick to do that to the woman. No matter what, like whatever spectrum we're coming from, like why you treat me like that after I told you something about your man? Cut like, but it's just like let's talk, it's like, like mm -hmm. yeah, let's, let's get to the bottom of it. Let's see really what it is. Let's let's examine your traumas and your experiences. Let's 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 really get to the nitty gritty of why you rather fall out with me than this man that ain't no good for you. Like we don't want to talk about that. I feel like friendship. She like is, I ain't about to talk about is it. Is a, a, a scarier like intimacy, mm -hmm. right? Because there's some things that are missing out of the equation that allows you to be close, and that's physical, like physical attraction, sex. sex. Like you get yeah. what I'm saying. So when you take the romance out of that, and you have to sit here and still have a relationship with none of that, it's even more scarier because you actually have to be open, mm -hmm. vulnerable, transparent enough to move through anything that occurred well I if you must... think about it like most like girls that are in relationships with these men are um it's like an addiction it's mm -hmm. not really even a relationship like your relationship should be based on a friendship it's a right. trauma bond. and if it was yes, then it bond. probably wouldn't be that toxic and mm -hmm. like that's the thing with the friendship versus relationship thing like the relationship thing is like an addiction or like a loss most of the time especially if it's in something toxic like that mm -hmm. the friendship there's no addiction there like yeah your friend's there okay cool yeah. she's not giving you sex she's not giving you mm -hmm. stuff so, that's it's not validation that's addictive mm -hmm. to you yeah i guess i'm just i need more context to this so you're telling me or whoever um that if someone your sister your friend someone that you thought you were super cool with cuts you off because of a man and approaches it in a way that is just like or well she she's kicking with her dude and she'll take him back a million times but she you do something wrong she cuts you off immediately mm -hmm. you're going to be 
like what's what's the context of y'all relationship are y'all super close because if it's just someone that i hang out with like we might have had a couple deep conversations it's okay like maybe they just moved on in life like why no we said I, like I don't, sister yeah we're like, like my we're cool sister. like my we real together right. okay well like, yeah if you grow up i don't know i guess i never not even we grew up together just that you have a close connection with that person right and we got history we have more history but your history then can you tap with the um just like yeah. if me and you have more history than you and he and you want to do me dirtier than you willing to do him you want to hold me more accountable than you're willing to hold him you want to do this and honestly where is my friend because i have a guy oh i'm like you about to phone this get out of here because remember he was under the thing saying that he yeah. wanted to speak his piece and defend the penises oh okay. um, I see but that. i did oh. so you said do i have a, a situation like this so one of my my one of my best friends been my best friend since i was 15 um, he got married, and eventually, it wasn't immediately, um, during the courtship or anything like that, but eventually in the relationship, his wife decided, like, she really didn't care for me. I never did nothing. Like, like not in an angelic way of me saying, no, I never did anything. Like, I literally didn't do nothing. She just literally rolled over one day and was like, I don't like it. So, she had to, <laughs> he had to cut me off with other people, too. Not just me. It was, like, family members, sisters. He's a, he has all sisters. So... He wasn't dealing with his sisters, his mom, like, really, like, no family. Like, he was really, like, borderline, like, isolated from A1 day ones, pretty much. So, I took it on the chin because I respect the union of marriage. Mm -hmm. So, my thing is that you sleep with this person, you build with this person, you have kids with this person. So, me being me, I didn't wear it on my sleeve and, like, hold it against him. I would just talk to him when I talked to him and right. we kept it moving. And it was what it was because I understood that he was trying to, what he was trying to do with her was bigger than our Mm -hmm. friendship especially for the closeness that we were like we're we've known each other for a long time our families know each other but we weren't like overtly like he wasn't like cutting my tracks out or like mm -hmm. beating up boys for me or nothing <laughs> like that so in the everyday that's how you sense, know it's real though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your best friend like helping you out like dude come sit on my teeth like it wasn't like it wasn't like that like he, we weren't close like that so it was like he was in my day-to-day -day life at my house putting stuff up and hanging like he wasn't like bro but he's like bro you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying so I respected it and I fell back and it was cool. It wasn't nothing, but I was always respectful. Like nothing ever happened. We never had words or anything. Fast forward, they're now separated in lieu of divorce. And now he's got his freedom back. So, you know, it's like, oh, you come back. And I'm like, cool, my friend back. Mm -hmm. No problem. No harm, no foul. This would never happen with a female that left a female over a dude. I, I just don't see it happening. If, a, if, if me and you were friends since we were 15, and you got with Bucky, and you was with Bucky, and Bucky said, Bucky. I don't like her. <laughs> I'm just throwing stuff out there. <laughs> Bucky, and Bucky said, Leslie, I don't trust Nova. <clears throat> Cut her ass off. And you was like, okay, Nova, you know you my dude. I know you ain't never did nothing to me. You my girl, but my dude really don't, y'all don't vibe. And so, so I, I just want to, I got to, I got to, you know, we got to pause. When he ain't around, we going to be like this. But when he around, we going to shut the fuck up again. You know, like that. And I'm like... <laughs> Yeah. Fuck you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't say that it would have been. I, I don't know many people that would have given me the courtesy that I gave him. Especially coming from a female. I feel like if, if a female had went four or five or six or seven. I think they were married for a while. So maybe like, maybe like five years of no communication. Little limited communication. Um, I don't think that nobody else could have came back from that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But Why? me having the heart. Because I've never seen it. I ain't never seen it. I haven't either, to be honest. I've never seen it. And that's why I don't. I knew what I was what I was willing to do. And I know how I'm willing to ride for my friends. You know what I'm saying? So it's nothing for me. But I don't know another person that would have let me walk out of their life. Out of their friendship. That we're. We go back. You know what I'm saying? Like when we quit being able to talk and communicate we had already been friends for like nine years you know what i'm saying so maybe a little longer than that so you know i don't know anyone that could have had a 10 a 10 year union with me walked out of my life for five years and came back 15 years into knowing me and knowing me know me like you know my business like you know you know me you know my history so you know my business you know what i'm saying so i don't, I don't know anybody that would have let me do that and come back let me ask you something. Do y'all have a lot of friends that, like, that y'all grew up with that are still around? Yeah, about Just every, you know, every two or three years for me, I always, like, bring in, like, a really good friend. 
like all the time. So I have a friends from mm, kindergarten that I'm still cool with. I have all my friends. Like I've never really fell out with friends, family members. Mm. Y'all be on. That's the heart of the conversation. Y'all be so. ch ch on that thin ice. <laughs> but um, as far as friends. I don't make friends on Luzon. Mm -hmm. I make associates and move the fuck on. But if you my friend, we always friends. I still got my same friend. I'm from Detroit, so but I still talk to like all my friends from <laughs> middle school. Mm -hmm. I talk to all my college roommates, all my associates, like all of that. Like I just preserve relationships really well. And I, all of my best friends, um, like as far as like history best friends, all live out of state. And we all like when we get together, it's like this. It's like gang gang, like nothing ever changed. Yeah, I love those kind of relationships. Mm -hmm. We just pick up where we left off very and just be much like, like <clears throat> when I'm in my zone, like I'm in my zone and I still value and support whatever bond we've created, but I may not be talking to you every day. You know, if you if I see you doing something good, I might reach out to you to congratulate, but it's not about to be no long, super long conversations because I'm focused on what I'm doing. But as far as like I would say I don't have any enemies. I would call like maybe four or five people like a solid friend but I get along with most of the people that I meet obviously and I would say like middle school high school friends you're not as close to them like I'm mm -hmm. personally not as close to them anymore but if I see them it's still what's up yeah. hope you're doing good well wishes yeah, same. you know but I'm not a friend that's gonna talk to you every day <laughs> I'm not a friend that's gonna you know, I'm, I, I'm not either and I um my friends understand it because we have a yes. connection like that. You know, where we don't have to speak every day. You know what I'm. You know what I got going on. I know what you got going on. But when we link, it's gonna be magic yes, exactly. every time. You know. So yeah. So like that's why when you brought up like you know when a woman gets in a relationship and she don't talk to that friend as much. I don't. To me, I don't think that was like the you know the issue at hand because mm -hmm. naturally I think um, as we have, have grown as human beings we realize we have lives mm -hmm. and we have these journeys that require mm -hmm. a lot of focus away from family and friends and stuff like that it's just a matter of if you could put enough energy and effort to mend things with a man who has hurt you, betrayed you, lost your trust, and you can put that same energy hmm. towards your sister, who most of the time are their longevity. Like, I used to say, you know, like in high school, I used to be sometimes salty about, like, how women would move, but, I mean, nine times out of ten, that man not gonna stay. Like, you think this is a forever <laughs> thing, and it's not, and I've seen it happen so many times, so what you need to do is make sure that you fix your fucking sister shit, and you, you make sure things cool until... Uh, but don't wait till like he 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 dropped you and then you like hey girl you ready to talk? It's but why like, don't no. we want to? Why don't we want to accept them back after they That's get dropped when they say. need us the most? Oh, I don't mind accepting them, but what I'm trying to say is that I love pre preventing things, right? Because gotcha. when you go so long, space, all that, too much shit builds up. And then it's your, just your like, resistance for the relationship builds. Yes, up. especially and if you just like, like if he could cheat on you one week, the next week your ass really might be texting him like, "Why would you do that to me? Like, can we talk and shit like that?" So if you if you could do that with him after he has harmed you, you could do that with the friend who wanted to be there for you while you were getting harmed. But because unfortunately it's a weird psychology that when you are hurt, that you rather believe that other people are creating the hurt opposed to the one who inflicted it and that's usually what happened when we get with most of these men who are creating these toxic relationships i mean sometimes women are toxic <coughs> as well and that's why we i'm have trying toxic to think if i've ever been in this but i was just gonna say I so has anybody sorry. been in that position, position though on the as giving the woman, side no as as a woman that has i have and yeah, most of the time like Sometimes you will start to resent your friends because you don't want them to tell you. Like that is you are in a fucked up right situation. Yeah. Okay. You so you'll be like, you'll be like, I mean, yeah, but this is going on, but it's not like that. Because you already know that that friend is going to ride for you. That friend is going to mm -hmm. do everything you thought that man was going to do for you. And he couldn't. And, and if wanna... the relationship... I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Because I'm about to jump into it. Okay. Boat, so go ahead. I'm just saying, if the relationship is toxic, like... 
that takes way more energy, I feel like, than a healthy relationship, too. Mm -hmm. So when you're in a toxic relationship, you're so focused on that that it's hard to stay I was just gonna with say, your girls because you're, all of your energy is on that. And, like, I know from personal experience, like, I never, I didn't, like, personally, like, that I can think of, like, pick a guy, like, over my friend or their opinion or anything, but mm -hmm. I definitely have, like, drifted away from female connections mm -hmm. being in a toxic relationship, and um, that's why now that I've been out of that, like, I, I was, like, so scared to leave that, first of all, because I didn't think I had any female friends. Mm -hmm. Like, I've had my few close friends from when I was younger, but they're not really in this area. Mm -hmm. So, I was like, oh my gosh, like, he's all I have. Like, I don't have mm -hmm. anybody else. Like, a, But really, it's because I wasn't reaching out to anybody else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because all of my attention was so focused on that relationship. Yeah. And I'm just like, once, like, we broke up, I was like, oh my god, I have her. I have her. I have mm -hmm. all these people mm -hmm. around me that, like, let me... I'm like, I can go do this. I'm like, where... I was, like, hiding. Mm -hmm. And, like, it... It's sad. Your reality is so tainted sometimes. Yeah. By who, who you I was let like, all I have is him, and if I don't have him, like, that's what he wanted who you do to I think? have? That was exactly right. What that's you think. Uh, yeah. But those and, are always red flags too. My bad. <laughs> no, you. Did. But just usually when um you start noticing how the friend your girls start fading away, and it's not mm. in those circumstances where it's not no beef or no drama, it'd be like, damn, what's going on? Like, but it's just like. You know, I mean, I've dealt with a man like that where it's just like, this. it's all me. It's about me. Like, mm. I'm here. Like, come on. I'll give you this. You don't need that. We, we could do that. We could do this. We could yeah. do that. And it'd be like... And it's like any time I had free, because, mm -hmm. like, I'm so busy with, like, business, and I'm like, oh, I'm my friend, so, like, I'd want to spend with him. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to make time for, like, other people. Mm -hmm. And, like, that is, like... That's codependency. That's not it, good. It that's... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But I was going to say, unfortunately, I've um, been one of those friends who drifted away from my friends for a toxic man. And it wasn't because I wanted to, it wasn't because we was beefing or anything. I was truly and honestly embarrassed mm -hmm. because of what was going on in our right. relationship. Mm -hmm. And it was to the point where my best friend, she kept, she always came to me and told me like, you know, I see him doing this. I see him doing that. And it came to a point where she was like, you know what? I just won't tell you nothing no more. Not because we was about to fall out, but because she knew I was embarrassed. Because mm -hmm. y'all seeing somebody who y'all love so much going through some dirty ass shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what? I know I'm not about to leave him alone. But, and you know, I, I so I kind of drifted away from him. Mm -hmm. And I, they were there. for They, they welcomed me back with open arms when I mm -hmm. left them, which I love them for and I appreciate it. But sitting back, you know, thinking, and I'm like, mm -hmm. damn, I, I was that friend. Mm -hmm. I was her. Mm -hmm. And it's, yeah, it's fucked up. But, yeah, that's the reality. But I can say today, I can, um, I can say that I feel like those situations are, well, not even those situations, those women are women who don't take accountability in situations. They cannot accept anything. And they are looking at the assets that they get from the relationship of being with that man versus their woman. Like you said, mm -hmm. if you, you're not feeding fucking you're and fucking financing your friends, friends. <laughs> that nigga is. <laughs> so, she quoted this I mean, you know. I mean, sometimes you can't finance your friends. That's yeah. the, 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 that happens. No, no, no. <laughs> what I'm saying, usually you it's not all it's the three S. Are you fucking me? Are you feeding me? And are you financing? Are you, are you financing? Yeah. But the so, biggest factor is the fucking. Okay? Because no, you can feed is. your friends, it you is. can finance them, you can give them a place to stay and everything. Let them drive your car, all that. Right. Why can't you yeah. do the other? Yeah. <laughs> 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 or else we're friends with benefits. I had a friend. I had a friend that wants to fuck me. We're not friends anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to say shit like that. <laughs> Okay, so start so, trying to fuck me, and I'm like, so let me best friend. Like, no, you do me so good. <laughs> best, best friend, what are you doing? Best friend, what are you doing? Laura be doing the massages, and I'm like, shit, oh, this could work. <laughs> <laughs> we can really be something. <laughs> Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> you think you want to go out to like, what is these girls into? Um, but no, so let me ask you this. Do you tell your friends fuck shit that comes across your path? What do you mean? I'm snitching. With every mean? trip, Wait. if I see your oh, so if you oh, see yeah. the dude, are y'all telling? Because a lot of people it. don't even tell nothing no more. Wait, if you That's see like your friend dude doing, doing something, something shady, if you see your friend dude doing something shady, well, 
I agree. A lot of people like because it's a shoot them. It's a shoot the messenger thing. So what's the rule? Do you tell them once? Do you tell them twice? Do you tell them every time? Do you cut it? Do you I'm gonna tell them once. Just once. No, <laughs> I'm tell, no, I'm only telling them one time. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you one time yeah. because I told you, so yeah. you know. Once you choose to know and then do something different, if you want to neglect yourself, I'm gonna still be here, you know, mm-hmm. around if we're cool like that. But that's not. I'm sorry. That's not something for me to concern myself. So I she, just can't one say time. It. How many times you telling? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Laura ain't telling shit. I'm, really Laura, like, I'm legally blind. <laughs> no, but that's like never happened to me before, honestly, that I can think of where I've seen that. Happen. I don't think I've ever. I don't so think I don't know what I would do. Know okay. I definitely times. would tell three them. Three times? But yeah. Like, you seen someone else's? Like someone cheat or someone yeah. being yeah, shady or because I knew, like, you know, mm, on some okay. side stuff, but some sides <laughs> but shit. I always live by honesty you see some, yeah. some love you see something if I love you if I love you okay okay stop okay, her stop her her watch <laughs> And then I started realizing, like, they oh, shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they getting mad at me. I'm like, hey, it's girl, girl, we know we're doing it again. I know. <laughs> I, know. I, I don't care no more. Look, look, I know you don't care. But look, look, I know you still don't care. She's like, that ain't him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, she's like, all right, I'm going to tell you that now. Get closer. Yep, that ain't how he got his hair cut today. I'm like, okay, ma'am. I swear this is your man. But okay. Stop. 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 St
while they're in your messages, they sent you a DM three minutes ago, but six <laughs> minutes ago they posted their happy relationship. Like, uh, right. And then, like, what is that, that situation? Everyone knows that happens. If I, if me, I wouldn't. If I, I didn't know the, the girl, yeah. I would not get myself involved. I, just I feel like when girls yeah, do that, 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 when they get themselves face. involved, it's because they're butt hurt about something. Mm -hmm. Like, any, like, when I had a girl message me, I'm pretty sure it's because she felt fucked up because she found out he was with me. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think... So she was trying I, to ruin yeah, your day. It, yeah, she it was, was about, it was about her. Like, I guess... Yeah. So it depends on where they're coming from. And you can tell when someone's coming to you because it's about them. Yeah. And not because they actually care about you. Because why do you care about somebody you don't know? Yeah. Like, and, you don't mm -hmm. care about me. Right. <laughs> in my so, relationship. But so that's you another thing. <laughs> like, what I, what I have done in those situations where the woman is a stranger to me, but her man is, keeps trying, mm -hmm. I be like a sister regardless if I don't know that woman. Okay. I tell him. I don't go to her, but I'd be like, him. dude, yeah. don't you have a or, woman? Like, or I would like all their relationship pictures after they right. yeah. That's like, bad. That's yeah. bad. Yeah. I see her, man. I see she her. Like, get on my inbox. <laughs> right. <laughs> But for sure, but that's some of them still don't That's care. what I'm trying and to I'm say. Like, um, comment. Oh, y'all are so cute. Being, being like a sister to women hey, goes beyond even having a friendship or relationship with that woman because I feel like so many people have been a part of a, a woman's man trying to talk to them, and everyone's aware that you have a relationship. But instead of being like, dude, what are you doing? Like, you are in a relationship. Chill. Like, chill. Like, mm -hmm. Or chill on me. Right. They, gotta they, chill, but they, they tell everybody else. But they him. tell everyone else. Uh -huh. And I be like, and I can't stand that. People be like, girl, look, her man all in my DM seeps. And I be like, yeah, okay, so that's... you love the attention. Because yeah. if you really care that much, then you would check him. Like, mm -hmm. why are you telling me? Because then what I'm going to do is tell that person. That person going to tell that person. Eventually, he's going to get to that girl. And now she's going to feel like, damn, everybody knew what's going on but me. Like, this is what you're doing. You're embarrassing me. And then depending on, you got to watch how you respond to these ninjas. Because I responded to a dude like that before. And he responded. He was on some creep shit. And I was like, eh. Oh, he said you could join and me. You know what he said? What? Dang, y'all can't even tell a girl she cute no more. Like, he trying to clean oh, it yeah. up like he was on some sis. You oh, beautiful, yeah. man. You beautiful yeah. queen. <laughs> like, you were just saying you want the... Uh. <laughs> 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 and now you talking about I'm a beautiful queen, sis. Mom and you want to throw the sis it. at the end of the... And it's like, but you know what? I don't... So, to answer my own question... Well, wait, someone said... Some women get a thrill of being with a married man and a man in a relationship. Mm. A thrill? A oh, headache, paranoia. Like, what the hell? I do know some people who do get a thrill, but... When I, people people that's that's what? Bad karma. I, mean, I know yeah. a girl who says she like being a side chick. Yeah, but those that's when Was you talk to your serious. friend and she, you say, she like... She to talk to somebody. <laughs> to somebody. Wait, it's so much you therapy. just came at me at one time. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, Leslie. That's, we just, wait. We just went not far what? left. Okay. <laughs> uh, wait, I was trying to my say bad. I lost my whole grip. I just my... wanted to share with. Oh, yes. No, I want you to share. Okay, I'm because know, some people do get on? thrills. I don't even know how to work it. Some people do get thrills, and I have some friends <laughs> that. It turned off when that my phone openly, went on charge. Oh. I had some friends that openly and oh, willingly love to mess with men. Oh, we're not even on relationships. Line. Yes, we were. And oh. oftentimes, oh. like, I will always be so push puzzled as to... Like, push the screen up just how it's sitting. Who is that on okay. the screen? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, said, how do y'all feel? Oh, oh, okay. There you go. oh okay. Thanks, Somebody Justin. Asking us? Who's yeah, asking just, us? yeah, cool. What is yeah. this that y'all are doing? This is really amazing. Oh, oh, oh thank you. <laughs> Thank you. you guys yes. want to hear something? Some woman power? Some bitches yes. just always so, want what you got. I'm oh, sorry. You're reading this? Hey. Yeah, I yeah. am. What did you say? You know what? She said, some bitches just want, always want what y'all got. Oh. What you got. Don't nobody ever want that man to see you with him. Ooh. Why? I, okay, you know what? That Why? is true because I used to tell the man I date, I'll, I'll be like, watch this. We about to start dating. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to publicize you and everything. That's what I was going to say. Watch how it works. Mm -hmm. watch, watch how it works. But either way, none of that still bothers me. Because I can't say people hide him. It's just like, okay, ma'am, you know how the game goes. That's just it. But Baby, you also should know like you, this. Bang. Right? I mean, like, <laughs> like, 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 like hey. people do with their <laughs> newborns. Uh, like, like, <laughs> like, don't post it. <laughs> like, like, sis, I don't even care about the face. Show the... Okay. Oh, but oh, so, oh, tell me what I'm going to... You, because girls be cuffing these bum. Like, when I see a girl, 
like bragging on the dude. It's like, first of all, he a pass around. I remember his if his weenie was this big when I was in high school, baby, it ain't got that much bigger. I don't even want him. But you so thirsty to post, 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 and I be saying, like, y'all be so proud. This dude done told you he don't got no history, but these dudes be ran through as fuck. And girls be really in fisticuff over it. And it's like, honey. <laughs> Yeah, like that everybody did anything. Everybody that had that, no. it, that it, just the, it just heightens the, the red the <laughs> <laughs> I be like, are you being suspicious right now? Like, like, right, like, like, <laughs> plot twist. I'm like, so let's bury like, like, the, the plot. The girl again. blocked the face, and it's like, I bought that watch. I know that right, arm. But, I know that tattoo. Like, girl, we know the body already. Cause right. everybody did hit. So to me, it'd be that. like someone did that. <laughs> I don't She's know. I'm just generally. speaking like in general oh, that girls like, with black face. Sure like we don't happened. know the car, the house, the background, the That's mama's really grass. Weird. Like girl, the we know that couch. <laughs> you know how many booties been on that couch? Girl. I'm just saying. I I, I, hey, I hate this. Mind. I hate this. Welcome like, to. Season two debut, episode one of one. <laughs> We're talking relationships. This conversation started just to give everyone a recap with discussing how women will abandon sistership before they abandon a toxic relationship. And now we ventured on to all the rules. We trying to, we're trying to the game and how it goes. The, the, the how it goes. We all just trying to get y'all. So if I, you're going <laughs> woman to woman, you know. Are you? I can't even get into that because we really should talk about woman to woman. Yeah. Like, are y'all for or against woman to woman? I think it has to be more context. I think it's circumstantial. Okay, so if a woman is coming to you about her man, are you for it? Yes or no? Don't come to me. Ask your man because that's your man. I ain't your woman. Okay. okay. Um, Don't ask me. I would say. It depends. If she's just saying, like, first of all, if a woman comes to me about a man, yeah, I'm going to probably have to just slide on him because just, like, you're bringing drama into my life. Like, where are you going? It's just, like, a, uh, it's just, like, too much going on. Yeah. So, I'm but when it comes to me, I don't even yes. care what she got to say. I probably won't even respond. I'm not responding, <laughs> and I'm going to just, I'm yeah, just I exit out of her DMs, and I'm going to exit out of his that. DMs. Like, I'm not about mm-hmm. to play no games with that. But what Someone if that, said, what, talk to your man. Yeah, yeah, what are your... What, okay, so wait. So you said but, I said I could I be mean, in trouble. I mean, if I the information, we go, we go, I'm telling go, 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 go deeper. Go. No, because I want to I wanna open this one up because if we have a DM relationship, but let's say we have a child or we live together, wait, we're what in do you a mean, lease. What do you mean? You saying I'm going to exit out of her DMs and exit out of his DMs. What if you can't swiftly exit out of his DMs? What if we're talking about committed relationships where Sally is coming to you? Hey, Sally, this is Shirley. I want to talk to you about Stan. Like, and Stan is her boyfriend and your baby dad. <laughs> Stan is your man and her, she thinks that's her man. He, her man mean your man too. Well, right. <laughs> are always happy. So, are you cool with Stan being the man? Like, Stan, no. What I'm trying to say is, wait, wait, listen. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what? Y'all is crazy. No. We, so look, what I'm saying. What, no, look, what I'm saying is right. that oh, so this, lost. <laughs> this is Bay. This is my Bay. Me and Bay live together. We're okay. happy. Okay. Then here you come, <laughs> and you like, this is my Bay too. Pull the pillow. He's my man. No, no, we together. We've been together for this amount of time. We've been here together. Okay, yeah. Because he's lying. This happened he's to me. <laughs> so what about it? See, yeah. that's what... Wait, and now, and now and we're going to the gym together, me and that girl. Oh, okay. Oh, Lord <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Laura. This is why. Oh, man. Okay, so, so that's what's up. Okay, we'll talk so, about that on episode two. I'm no, just kidding. Okay, to be continued. But no, so Y'all what I'm saying is that... Wait, can we not ignore that? I'm sorry. How did we ignore that? We're dating hey, the she same might guy. Be watching now. Hey, hey, no. hey, girl. Hey, side boo, best friend. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, um, y'all What's were up? dating, Miss Girl. Okay, the so same guy. Ex, well, so my ex. T- okay, so he was talking to her for like months at a time, <laughs> and you spilled it, and you got the. No oh spill my cup. gosh. <laughs> She spilled the wine. I just heard no spill. Wait, uh, this is what she got this cup. <laughs> <laughs> I got Come a sippy. On, no, you got a 360. I need a, a 360 the one that cup. <laughs> that one really doesn't spill. It has a nice silicone top. You know what I'm saying? You could tip it over. It's fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's our season two going. <laughs> All right, so I was on and off with this guy for, like, three years. Take and the then wine. this... Lizzie so Lizzie I was, Lizzie. I was like, the main... Girl, you were the main. Let it be known. I was the main. Talk to and I'm not 
it's so <laughs> great. <laughs> but uh, they have been talking for so long, and I didn't even know about it. Um, so actually, long, like six or more months? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, almost six months. Because, like, okay. it was, like, August. He had told her that um, we broke up. They always say that. Right. <laughs> they, like, we, we broke so up, but we just go to sleep together every night. Right. right. And then I, uh, I was, uh. <laughs> Dude, I'm like just thinking. I'm like, what if he's watching your story? Fuck it. No, this is reality. Are you right? You did it, yeah. Even yeah, if they watch it, huh? So yes. What? To the Please. woman to woman question, someone said, "I'll tell her." Honesty is key. I feel you, girl. That's me. This is Alicia's talking. And so then, um, another girl said, "I'm the type to mind my business. If I don't know you, that's me. You're not my friend. I'm not saying anything. Don't feel like that's my place. I feel not the awesome. same way. So I'm minding my business. So what women like? When is that gonna be a woman? When, a yeah. Place? Like, who is gonna like show up for to, that to other stand woman? up for that woman when she don't know? When she don't I feel know. like so can address. I agree with she said address the man. Like, if if you come to me or if I see your dude doing shady shit, but they lie, and I know the dude, I'm gonna be like, yo, you're shady. Like, you know that's not cool. Like, why are you doing that? That's trash. If a man approaches me and I see a woman all on his page, same thing. Like I said, I'm going to go comment on their pictures. I'm going to like it because you need to know that that shit is foul. And I'm going to say something to you like, uh, you should, you know, better use this time to go talk to your girlfriend or something. You know what I'm saying? But if it's just some two people, don't know them, have no relationship with either of them, and he might have just hopped in my... Because then what is it? When do you say that someone is trying to talk to you? If a guy says, hey, hi, what's up, how are you? So then did she say, was my man trying to talk to you? That's just it. Especially if y'all had no relations. I'm just saying, like, if you know for a fact that there was something going on with you and that man, but that's not your man. And then she's saying, like, hey, this is my boyfriend. We've been dating for two years. And I want to know, like, if it's just Insta, if it's just social media banter, I'm no. not about to press I don't think it. Not social media need. banter. I but if it's, like, all. in person, real life. Oh yeah, that's a whole different. And that's what I'm saying. It's also up to the woman who's saying something to have that discernment to know whether it's something that she should comment on or not. Like if you being a, if you being petty as hell, keep it. You know what I'm saying? But if you're gonna be real, be real. Be real. So yeah. two things about it. One thing for certain. Two things for sure. If you don't know this person from an atom <clears throat> in the in the universe, dramatic. And if you don't know this person, you never. I'm walking down the street. Sorry to this man. I can. If you don't know that person from nothing, do you really do you really think in life that you're the first one to discover that they man is creeping before they sister, they mother, they best friend, no. their hairdresser? You're not the first one. So in that, but I respect, got the information. I got the tea. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Just that, they it, don't it, know. It did not come to them. They have they have speculations. I have evidence. You have okay. So your man so went for, down on me last night. Yes, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know that was your man. Like, and Hold unfortunately, on, that's dogs been a, are dropping. But I'm just saying, like, those like, are situations. I feel like I'm just saying, I like, tell. I just seen the top of his head. But I got it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I just can't stand when women. You know, like some women be like, "Yeah, it ain't my place. It's not my business." And then they're in that situation, and they like, "Why are you lying to me?" So if I go ask her right now, what's she gonna say? You know, and then because it's don't just come like, ask me right now because I'm gonna give you everything. <laughs> Let me tell y'all, I had one one she ex one ex wife no. came to me. She she was an ex wife. At this point, what? he my ex. I don't even know. Girl, Look, bye. My, my sister's dude, brother's cousin. My no, no, no man. Listen, no, listen, told no, listen, me. Listen, 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 listen. My exes. Uh -huh ex-wife came to me because he went back to her after me and she wanted to know were we still mm, doing involved. anything and i was like girl yes your stupid ass gonna call me and i you you don't know your facts bitch because if you knew your facts you would know he blocked he restrained <laughs> Oh we don't. We don't talk. No, he can't even. He can't even call me. He can't even. He can't even contact me. So that let me know that you fishing. And if you fishing, I will give you fish. Because don't come to me on no chat. Wait, you so don't you know her? Yes, no. absolutely. I lied to her. Oh, oh, you lied. Yes, I lied. Because don't come to me asking me nothing if you don't know nothing. What you don't lying me. for? Because why she called me for? Because she wanted to know. And no, then if you didn't want to tell her, then she'd be like, I ain't got no. I don't owe you nothing. I'm not telling you nothing. That was me. But you trying to play with her. Yeah, I wasn't trying to play with her. Because you still wanted to fuck with him. No, I didn't. No, I wanted to fuck with him. No, 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 no. So we're talking about how Nova that came to as a woman and then lied to that woman because she still wanted 
with that dick. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. That ain't why I lied. So I lied. Mean, that's why women don't I lied lie. because I was a toxic, a petty troll. Bring it down a couple decibels. Oh, oh my bad. Okay, okay, so I lied because I was a toxic, petty troll. Because I felt Not like a toxic petty I, I was a toxic petty accountability troll. is a, a beautiful thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I will own that. So at this time, I was probably I was under twenty five. Okay. Maybe I was okay. That's reasonable. Yeah, I was reasonable. like under twenty five. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Do better. I mean, <laughs> right. I'm just okay. Trying to well, okay, so listen. I was under. I was younger. I'll just say that I was younger, and in my mind, I'm like, why would you ever come to me as a stranger? Before you would come to your ex husband that you lived with, obviously you know what I'm saying. Like, she, why was you trying to confirm? To but this is this is my issue with the whole shebang. She never came to me when we were actually together. We were together for a while. She came to me literally about almost a year after we were already on the. They on the dumb. Yeah, they right. Wanted That's the she she wanted to make sure. <laughs> don't, well, don't come to me and ask me no shit like that. Why would she come you to you while y'all are know. together? You should already <laughs> know. That's what I'm saying. Had she came to me while we were together and he was double dipping, it would make sense. But he, if mm, he with okay. you or if he's entertaining you, then he's with you and I don't. He cannot call me. So, I cannot call so basically him. Her he can't come to my job. Yeah, she she reached out to me in insecurity. Mm -hmm. So since you insecure. And you being you like, ha, ha, wait a second, because I didn't even tell oh y'all. I didn't even tell you what the problem was. The problem was that she was spicy as fuck in her uh, delivery. Hmm. So More don't context. come to me right. spicy right. and wrong. You you can be loud and you can be wrong, More but you context. can never be okay. loud and wrong. I feel like Wait, when so you that, get to that point where you have okay. to go ask the you see woman, like it's so, already too late in the relationship. I do. Okay. Okay. That's, okay. Like, that's like closer. This is a you though. problem, and then okay. too, then okay. too, on the okay. more vulnerable okay. side of things, that. we had a tumultuous end. Like, like I said, it ended in restraining orders and fisticuffs and threats and violence. <laughs> 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 Oh, it was bad. Oh. It was really bad. So me, you know, I'm out of this toxic ass situation, and I'm like living my life like it's gold. And then here come my Facebook my messenger, no. and she's bringing up, you know, bringing me back to my dark past. So that's why I had a troller. Like since you, you left, you escaped. Since you got out, and now you going back, and you want to come and try because he messing, making you miserable. You want to come and try to make me miserable? I gotta help. I gotta pour gas on the fire. Yeah. Now. Because I didn't mm. think that, and it was most, most, it wasn't a reflection of me wanting him. It was more of me in my toxic, and my, petty. childish and petty, but in my toxic form of protecting her. Like, I don't want you to be with this trash ass man so bad that I'm about to give you any reason to not fuck with him. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So I told her that because he didn't deserve nobody like her or nobody like me. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about me getting them so and her which, not which getting them. Which one is it, Nova? Did she, <laughs> did she come at you spicy or were you protecting her? She did come at me spicy. She, 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 she was doing both at the same time. time. She ain't she ain't no. I be thinking, y'all. I be like, look. Okay, y'all. So I have a real life scenario. Okay. Oh, okay. Shit. If y'all listening, tell me what y'all would have did hot. or what y'all would do, whatever. No, wine is gone. So... I was no, dating no, this. No, it's no not more. sweet no more. I was dating this man. This is probably like our uh, our third year into the relationship, right? And um, it was late at night, so he sleep. Mm -hmm. And at this time, I was like doing yoga, so but I wanted to record Ooh. it on my phone, so I grabbed his phone Ooh. to like play Ooh. to play like some music off of it. Yeah, and then the phone calls. But then a FaceTime call came in. Oh. This is at like two a.m. Okay. And why are you doing yoga at two a.m.? What? Well, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was that's what sleeping. That's her time. time. Like <laughs> down with He's sleep. You know, he sleep. I'm saying like, cool. I get to you know, I get to be up. You're, you have your time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So a FaceTime call came in, and mm -hmm. I was just like, calling this late. Now <laughs> usually. I wouldn't have cared to answer it, but in those in that moment, you knew you know, that you was about to. You know. I knew like this is something. Something's gonna tell me what I was looking for because prior I asked for a sign. I don't know if y'all yes. ever been there where y'all yes. needed to know. Yes. Oh yeah. But mm -hmm. so I asked for a sign. I answered the FaceTime call and <laughs> but I show up my face. I answered it, you know, just to see who it who it could be. And she had lingerie. <gasps> and she like, hey, and I was just like. Who are you? <laughs> she was just like, I asked Hunter who I am. I mean, damn, I didn't want to say his name. Oh, <laughs> she just named drop. <laughs> but she was just like, I She was like, 
was like, ask, ask him who I am. And I was like, you right. Usually, I would take the phone and like wake him up with it and throw it in his face. That's old toxic shit, you know. Mm-hmm. But oh, I did since that. I right, <laughs> since I asked for the sign, since I knew like where I was moving towards on my path and everything, mm-hmm. I remember like looking at her and I'm like, damn, she called. She don't even know like she called when I needed that answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I still feel like I wanted to like be toxic and friend. petty and fuck some mm-hmm. shit up. Yeah. So bad because the way she came, <laughs> I was just like. She in lingerie. I mean, why she salty? Cause she it was her sexy time. But I was like, <laughs> it's the nasty. Time. I'm like, who are you? And she was just like, ask him who I am. But she knew who I was, and th- that it's they shit like that. They always know. They, always, so know. they yes. always know who you are. First of all, if you coming to me because you already know hey, me guys. or know of me. <laughs> just don't come to me, mm-hmm. because if I don't know about you. You pissing in my Cheerios, and you gonna make me want to A-Town stump you. And it's not your fault. He's the liar. I don't want to hate you. I don't want to hate no woman for being a truth bearer. But what was y'all but, do? But was why, y'all hate, get... why not hate her? If Wait, tell out. Go ahead and say what. But so, so in that in that scenario, she still was on the phone. So it was like she almost wanted to have dialogue with me because <clears throat> oh, she was trying to be toxic. Yeah, yeah she, but she was, it was just hurt. like she was just she silent. Was so she like, but she was sad. She, she was like, hurting. damn, he's still fucking with her, right? Because then initially I did some investigation. He's he telling her like, yeah, we're not together and shit like that. Know. But I answered <laughs> the phone, so she like. Oh, okay, but she said, I'm fine. I ended up hanging up on her. But for some reason, I still had a feeling like I should have just talked to that girl just <clears throat> like to see. But either see way, okay, so I had a right. similar experience, and I they actually do be following me, so they see this. Oh, well, but <laughs> it was Parker. kind of on my so I had my close friends on Instagram, only women on there, and I had posted like a date I was on, but I didn't put the person in it, it was just the venue and everything. And mm-hmm. then I guess someone put two and two together. And was like, oh, my man was there, and y'all follow each other, and what's going? You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? What's yeah. popping? So, they knew me from, like, years ago. I met them at a, you know, drunk bathroom party type shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Females. And they had my number, though. Mm-hmm. And she had, like, jumped on FaceTime with me and was talking about it. And in that moment, I just realized, like, she's not about to leave him. So. Yeah. There's no point in telling her what's really going on. You know, mm-hmm, I'm going to yeah. just tell her the bare, you know, the bare minimum to let her know, mm-hmm. yeah, he was doing some foul shit. Mm-hmm. We didn't have sex or nothing. Yeah. But she's seen the text message where he asked, like, you know, why haven't you, you know, had sex with me? Why haven't you been kissing on me type shit like that? Yeah. So she knew what it was, but mm-hmm. I was just like, Ooh. yeah. yeah I'm going to let you know that something happened, but I'm not going to, I'm going to spare you the details because I know you're not ready to leave. Right, See? but so then that's what I'm trying to get at, so... Because I'm so big on honesty and really, like, talking and especially now where I'm at on my journey. Like, I really... Everyone's not there yet, though. I know, but that's Mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. But even still being here, I'm still trying to figure out, do the details matter? Because Mm -hmm. I'm in the situation. It's intent, not content. Or was in this stage I'm in right now and realizing that even still moving through my honesty and truth... I'm starting to realize, like, sometimes some truth is not yours to share. Yes. Because it's like, damn, I'm trying to do what I feel as if is the right thing for this person I love. But it's like, you still have to be honest with yourself mm. before you try to be honest with someone yes. else. So you are right. Because I, if I would have questioned, is my friend ready for that information? Then I probably would have not told her. But, but then, who are you to make that judgment to not show her something what? that can get her to the other side? Because if she's not re- But as their friend, as someone who I'm just loves like them, because I told them I lie to people all the time them. for their own protection. Remember, I told y'all, mm-hmm. I was like, I will have truth your ass to death if I know you can't take the full baptism. But it's just, you know it goes I mean? I less will. if they found out you knew and you didn't say nothing. No, okay, <laughs> so prime, I'm, uh, I was in a situation like this a few years Story ago. Time. Story time. Story time. Like Story time. Huddle in. We need like a uh, like Bring a it in and you tell me. Okay, nice so wait, wait, wait. Did we get a final answer? answer? Was Alicia right? What? Yes, was she so, right or wrong? Yeah. Oh, for everyone, everyone who heard the story, story oh. should I have discussed with that woman, even though I asked for a sign because I was really kind of ready to kind of like let him go, but I did want to talk to her, but should I, should I have talked to her? Should I have argued with her? Or should I have even told him that that just happened? Because he didn't know that none of that happened. And I was just kind of proud of myself a little bit by how I handled it. Because usually, I swear, I would have threw the phone in the face. Did you leave him, though? Uh, yeah, I left him. Okay. Steve. Yeah, I left Swiftly, him about maybe... slowly. Okay. Uh, I always leave slowly. I know it's funny, but like, so usually they be like, dang, you really left? What happened? But I was like, oh, I was already building 
my the leaf. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, like I, I was like, 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 like my ass. I had to yeah. take my yeah. time. Right, to, right. You know what I'm saying? But I your ass you. was done months ago. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The story mm-hmm. I was talking about earlier that I had finished, I actually talked to her. Like, yeah, I, wait, let's jump back to this because I didn't remember the bathroom. She said, Laura said that she and a girl were dating the same guy and now they go to the gym together. Okay. So, how well, did this happen? Now, I know you talked to her the first time. <laughs> now, they ain't friends. But this, is this the one? <laughs> Hey, is this, the one, is this the one you fought at Cheesecake Factory? <laughs> Laura, what? Why are you talking about that? Laura, Laura I got them paws, no, 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 somebody came there and tried to start shit with me, but That's that was okay. my ex's new girlfriend. Okay, okay. And, okay. like, that was, like, nothing. To, like, she was there eating and, like, got up and was, like, trying to Doing talk to the me most. and stuff. Oh, okay, and I was, like... Okay. Okay. About to get uh, beat I don't want nothing to do with either of you. They was about to go to jail no. and let her. No, but <laughs> this was the same guy, which he was actually like talking to her like before we were, like that's a whole other story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever. Um, no, but I I did talk to her and ask her details. Because the way I found out about her was he was sleeping in the bed. I was up. My son was up. It was in the morning. He you had guys to... have a child together? No. Okay. So this wasn't his child. Okay. 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 Um. But uh, he was at my house. He just got back from vacation. I had his dog, everything. Um, and my son was a little bit younger at the time and like, grabbed his Apple Watch and was like playing with it. And I was like, no, like don't play with this Apple Watch. Mm. So I grabbed it and there's a text message with um, kissy faces that says, it was so nice to see you tonight, last night. Uh, and so, like, on the Apple Watch, you can, like, hell yeah, you click can. on it. Yeah. And I was, like, because I didn't know his phone password, because he had a password, wouldn't give it to me, secretive about his phone, like, yeah. red flag, red flag. But, right. um, so I, I went on there, <laughs> messages after messages. He was there. He, on his way from the, home from the airport, he stopped at her house, gave her a kiss goodnight, went and saw her, then came and slept with me. <laughs> Like, so he was really, like, going to two Ooh, times. Wait. Like, and so I just, like, scrolled back and was reading all these That's messages. Right. He was back. like, I can't wait to bring you to my gym, which, like, he paid for my membership <laughs> there. And, like, all this stuff, like, all this stuff, like, about being with her. So it wasn't just, like, like, she legitimately thought, they they were, he was basically dating both of us. Because, mm-hmm. like, he wasn't yeah. using her, like, as a side chick, like. He, I he don't know building. what was going was on. Like, yeah, he was building he was something. Building, like, running. I don't know if he was, like, bu- building Build a push Building momentum to cheat, bitch, or, like, run. See That's how what long he, he could keep it going. <laughs> but, like, so I really wanted to know. Like, so I saw her name on there, so I found her, and I messaged her, and I was like, I just want you to know, like, I saw your text messages. I was like, and he was at my house last night, and we're still together. And I, I was, like, not bitchy about it. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, I just want to know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Like, how long have you been talking to him? Like... Because I was really confused at this point. Because he wouldn't tell me anything. Mm-hmm. Like, when I showed him, he was like, I just met her, like, a few weeks ago. See, but that's the thing. They don't say anything, so that's why. Yeah, I... he literally said, mm-hmm. he was like, I just met her a few weeks ago. And, like, when you and I got, just, like, separated in an argument, I just trying to get over you. You know, like, all mm-hmm. that stuff. Mm-hmm. And How I was convenient. Like, <laughs> right. And I was like, okay. So when I talked to her, she's like, oh, oh yeah, we've been talking. It was, like six months. She said, oh no, he got me fucked up. Right, but first when I went at her, she <laughs> got real defensive and she real mad. <laughs> yeah, and she thought that I was, because he she, had told her so much shit about me, he literally made me out to seem like I was the crazy, crazy one. Yes. yes. Your ass. Yes. You are the problem yes. here. Yes. So her and I were oh, actually just talking hell. about this the other day. We're like, he literally like makes everyone like seem like it's their fault like everything's their fault but that's what i'm trying to say the men are so good at turning women against women yes and that's why we're here like (laughs) did not like we got into it bad like this happened like again like later Mm -hmm. um he went back and was fucking with her again and i Mm -hmm. found out about it and like her and i like got into it like on the phone like it was like a mess and then like a few months ago, she messaged me and, like, apologized for everything and mm-hmm. said she just wanted to, like, clear the air. Really? And, like, okay. when I was like, no, it's right. okay, I'm like, I've grown so it. much from the experience. I was like, I don't have any ill feelings against okay. you. Like, all this stuff. And, like, after that, then I ran into her at the gym and I was, like, <laughs> talking to her. Hey, and, I'm right, and I'm like, you should just, like, work out together. Yeah. And we're right I don't here. know, I'm like... I, it's crazy how these, like, bad experiences, like, bring people together. But, like, mm-hmm. I just want... I don't want women to be against each other over men. Yeah. Exactly. And, like, but that's I, well, like, her and I, like, we would have never, like, been, like, 
that volatile towards each other if it weren't for his in actions. The middle, his to okay. actions. Okay. So, yes. you see? Okay. Yes. So, I have something similar to happen, but except I didn't feel we could be friends. But this shit is, it wasn't just like living out of a life. So, three weeks before I had my son, my son's father had another baby. Three weeks before my son oh was my born. Gosh. Yes. You didn't know? Irish twins? Oh, oh my gosh. I didn't. Let me tell you how I found out, though. Mm-hmm. Scrolling on Facebook and a, a picture gets shared into my time. I'm like, who the fuck is sharing a picture of my baby? Like, who has this picture of my baby? And I'm like, and I click on it. It was her son. And I'm looking. It was a little girl. And I'm like, oh, this is a girl. It's not my, but then I'm like, hold up. Like, you look identical right. to my newborn. Wow. And then I look at the name and I'm like, this is a woman that was, you know, giving him tattoos and type shit. So it came out to be that they were like... She, I guess, like, he, she thought they were in a full-fledged relationship. Just a whole bunch of crazy stuff. But it was just insane. But I tried to link up her because at that time, like, my son's father was still trying to make it work with me. He was doing his toxic, like, I'm going to be there for you and the baby so you can love me and want to be yeah. with me again type shit. And um, he was in that stage. And I had reached out to her because I felt so bad because he was just completely ignoring that they even created a life. Mm-hmm. I bought, like, the little girl, like, little outfits and shit when I went shopping for my son and stuff, Aww. dropped them off to her. Uh, I met her at the bar, and we played darts and stuff, but then it came to a point where I realized, like, it was hurting her more than it was helping yeah. her mm-hmm. to be around me. Mm-hmm. and to Because even though I was doing what I felt he should have been doing, it wasn't him doing it. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, you know what, this isn't you, really healthy. At some point you were going to become the yeah, target. Yeah, it wasn't going to be a healthy relationship. And I could tell that, that it just wasn't good for her. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to just leave it alone. I tried. And he got to step up. Yeah. Yeah, but I was just like, wow, that shit's crazy. This so, is some heavy stuff. I want to like, <laughs> answer your question <laughs> that we, you know, first started off with. And I don't think that you were wrong for <laughs> not having a conversation with her because my situation, um, I was date we me and a guy were together. He had to go on vacation for a little while. And, you know, finding out all the details about how he had to go away and all of that <laughs> had came from another young lady that he was dating because his best friend was like, I know you don't know nothing, but I got to go ask this girl and I'm sorry. It might hurt you. Does she know everything about him or where she, where he was at? And, you know, so we are, you know, figuring out everything, trying to see where he is. We finally locate him. And I'm talking about me, the lady, me and his mom. So we mm-hmm. all three working together, trying to figure out, like, where is he at? We just want to make sure he's okay. Oh. And we finally find out that he's okay. He was in jail. Um, oh, okay. So that's where it was. We oh, I have... thought he was at somebody else. No, he was I thought he had left the country. No, I know. I said vacation, because you know how... Anyway, gotcha, I ain't going to say that. But, yeah. um... <laughs> but, so we were all working together, trying to find out where he was. We finally, you know, found out where he was, that he was okay. So I'm still DMing her because I'm trying to build up the courage to ask her, like, you know, what's what's up? Like, what y'all been up to? Mm-hmm. So we laughing, kiki and shit, and I finally was like, all right, cut the shit. Like, let me, like, be, be real with me right now. Are you still in love with him? Mm-hmm. I don't even know nothing else. Are you still in love with this man? She said, I think that we should all three sit down and talk. I said, mm-hmm. I'm cool. Yeah. That's all I need to know. I asked for a sign right before that happened. I got my sign. I didn't want nothing more, but mm-hmm. that's fine. So. Yeah. Wow, well, yeah. And some, some of the people responded to the question mm-hmm. and said... Yeah, um, the comments were funny. I know. <laughs> hey, said, Shantina, if you're still listening, hey, thanks for checking us out. I appreciate you. I don't know why. It says, oh, yes, I would have... Yeah. <laughs> Said, yes, I would have put everything I could from her because story. she likes to tell the truth. A man who's been caught will lie to the end. And that's how I be feeling. Except you like, toxic Nova from way back But then. unfortunately, <laughs> sometimes you never know the woman you are about to come across if you really don't personally know her because sometimes they'll lie to keep what they got with him as well. Because, mm-hmm. you know, there's a thing called... Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a thing called desperateness that, you know, I'm not going to like act like it don't exist with women. I would love to think that some women... Um, do hold themselves a little higher to realize that if someone's not giving them what they really, really deserve, that they will find it. But sometimes it's more so security. And, you know, validation is really huge that people, like, kind of throw under the rug. If someone's validating you a lot... Um, and even, you never experienced that, so it's like mm-hmm. a, a scarce mm-hmm. mentality. Yeah, you're you just yeah. like, I can't let that go. Like, this is the person who actually fused me and make me feel good. 
Even though it's on purpose, you know, they they know what they're doing. Narcissist. But right, I was just gonna say narcissist. Don't gaslight me. Don't gaslight me. But um, I was gonna say, I think that married people, side chicks to married people, will lie to protect their. Because a lot of times, married men cheat with regular women. The video pause. because. Oh, have we been on an hour? That's probably why. Oh, is it? Is it still going? Oh, my time limit. Fuck, for social media. Can everyone still see us? Are we still live? Because it said pause. Hey. Hey, Taylor. Who keep calling? Oh, right. Okay, someone said who keep calling. Yeah, it got paused. Okay. okay. Um, um, okay, so I know that a lot of women date no, married men. Spoiling. Is it the connection? It's probably the connection because mine keeps cutting off. Yeah. Is it on Wi Fi? Alright, now it's off Wi Fi. I want some french fries. Hold on, what happened? I'm up here thinking about what I'm about to eat when I eat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it should work now. Okay, are we um, good, y'all? Can someone just confirm that? Can you give us a y'all can up see us? Smiley face, something. We are not frozen. Hey. Because, like, I'm looking at my someone, phone and. What's goody? I see nothing. Yeah, it oh, froze. I, can, not, it froze. I can check on my side. Welcome to the Venus Exchange Podcast. Hey. Where we get lit and spit real shit. You feel me? Ooh. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay, we good? Okay, we good. Um, okay, we good. Okay, so, so what, I, was, what were you saying? I was saying that married men cheat with regular women to buy their silence. So they 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 often will furnish like Can we styles. define regular woman? Yeah, I was about to I'm say. I'm like, not married, I'm single. 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 Okay. Oh, okay, I'm like, we like married men cheat with single women. <laughs> oh, this is a whole other conversation. Oh, this like, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> we're just Before oh, I agree with somebody, I don't know what I'm agreeing with. Let's go politically correct. <laughs> Because I'm like, maybe <laughs> she'll, 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 she'll clarify. clarify. I, well, right. I will never. So, Mary man, she, she was single, single women. women because the single women are being. I have a benefit to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Because mm-hmm. he's paying my rent, he's paying my car note, he making so I have an incentive to shut the fuck up if I wanna if he just told me it's That's Wednesday. Where you fighting these guys? <laughs> is a sugar daddy? Oh girl. <laughs> he's married and he's paying all your they shit. They ain't even sugar daddy. Oh, they, regular, oh, girl. they regular schmegular dicks. Nah, what's here. the regular no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> That was some regular dicks. <laughs> shut up. But no, look, 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 look. Like I if I have an incentive to keep my mouth shut, I'm probably gonna keep my mouth shut. So if you're fucking feeding or financing me, I'm probably gonna fucking shut up when mm-hmm. Sally called me. Boo, you me hard. Hard. No, no. Right now, because if you know that they're like, I just feel like I'm just if, you if you got know, in it if you love. know, it doesn't matter if you know <laughs> that they're in some fucked up shit. Why do you even want to attach that to your in, like to your spirit? Why do you even want that on your name? Don't, they, they don't oh, know that. They, okay, they, they don't, they don't even know. They're not here. They're okay, not but here. I'm not saying this is me. I'm, first of all, let me just. Blanket statement, season two. <laughs> so that y'all know, I am queen of devil advocacy. I just say, I go to all the little dark places. I hate devil it. advocacy. Like, I know, I know y'all do, but we, but we have to put it out there. So I will go to all the little, I'm, I'm shadow work, motherfuckers. I'm going to go to all those little dark toxic places <laughs> that you don't want to go to. All those little fucked up things that you don't want to speak on. But these are real things that we're dealing with. Yeah, that's what I'm about to add. Most of the ladies here are above that. And I just say most, but we all are really like above that. Like we're not on that. Like she said, it's all about energy and who mm-hmm. even wants them type of yoke. We, we're equally yoked. Equally yoked. Now here. and forever. We don't, even, we don't even want that toxicity on us. No. We don't even no. want to be connected to any type of drain or strain on what we're trying to do. So we would never, but I'm just always going to be the shadow. Just know that. Just um, be like, well, what is? This full disclaimer is that that's why when you're calling these women, you have to take it with a grain of salt because if sis on the other line, some days you're going to get Alicia and some days you're going to get Shadow Nova. Mm-hmm. So, and, and it depends on what a lot of these situations, if that, if you call this chick on a Wednesday and ask her what's going on and he just told her he about to pay for her boob job <laughs> or her rent or her condo or lease her vehicle do you think she's really about to give up her car for you because you hurt and you about to be hurt in two days anyway no she about to get that car and then at least she got 30 days to figure out what she gonna do with him or her car <laughs> <laughs> baby i'm not telling you the truth on wednesday shadow i'm not shadow self is not gonna tell you the truth about wednesday on wednesday when i got something coming on friday you're not about to fuck up my check because you getting cheated on you been knew you was getting cheated on sis i hope <laughs> I mean, sometimes I'm just saying, sometimes, they sometimes do. people are trying to figure out, but sometimes people yeah, sometimes are trying to confirm are. if he's still. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, 
if it happened to me, the old me, I would have took, I'm getting whatever I'm going to get on Friday. And, like, Saturday morning, I'm calling you back like I lied. <laughs> Like, I am weak. <laughs> I feel like I just want him to pay that rent, but I feel like now I want to not know. I want to get him too. If so you, I want him like, to be I'm just saying, like, I don't want to hurt her. I, I want what I want, and I want to get him in trouble too. Because now you lying to me. You okay. know what I'm saying? So then I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> okay, but listen. Whatever. I, as you're talking, I'm sitting here laughing because I'm remembering literally a situation I had like two summers ago, and the girlfriend kept hitting me up. Like, yes, at a point in time, I was involved with her man, but I did not know that he had a woman. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So then, since she contacted me, literally, she was just like... Well, now you remember your shadow work. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But, because it was funny, because after a while, I was corroborate. You know, I corroborated with her. Like, I, I didn't tell her anything, because it wasn't like she was seeking that. Okay. She was basically telling me, like... Hey, like, what type of woman would sit there and talk to another me, woman's man? Me, like, you're just not this way. She was like, "You're disgusting," and I was like, right. "I was just like, um, who are you?" And she was just like, "I'm this, you know, I'm this guy's girlfriend." Hurt, and then I'm I was bitter. just like, "I was just like, oh well, all right, well, cool. That's all I need to know." Like, cause he was real like weird acting. So I was like, mm -hmm. "I'm like, oh, cool. That's all I needed to know." So then I saw him like, "Your girl hit me up. You got a girl. Leave me alone." Like. I'm not with it. But then she kept hitting me up. Oh, they be so what did you do? So, like, what for, did you do? How did for, you handle like, it? This was going on for a good four months. And I, w I stopped talking to him like a long so the time ago. So then... Up. So then she was acting. She was she was like basically trying to use like the fact that I was like into like this spiritual work. Like she was saying like I did a reading on you and you know, yes, what you she read? was like she said, no. what you <laughs> she said if you keep messing with him on astrology, you're putting, <laughs> you putting bad karma on your daughter and she's gonna suffer with relationships and stuff. And I was just like honestly, sis. It's not me. I don't know who the fuck is talking to him. It's not me. Like, you go go find oh, someone weird. else. Like, it's not me. Yeah. So then after a while, two months later, and she hit me up. Now, that's when you start feeling like, you really tripping. So you either could get played with or, like, what? Like, so I just told her, please stop texting me. I'm not talking to him no more. And she was like, are you lying to me? I'm like, oh, no. I don't owe you anything at this point. Like, just let it go. And so that's why I laugh laughing. first. Because if you don't take their head off at the first nip, of them coming to sniff. She was sending me memes and everything. Yeah, if you oh, she was, was her. She was telling you. She was saying, and if they'll a woman do that. Don't appreciate herself, she'll mess with a man. Oh, she's probably man. thinking oh that you, she's probably like, oh, she looks so nice and spiritual that I can easily break her down. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, no, maybe that's not how my, that's not that's how not I set how up over works. here. Like, I'm like, all that shit is below me. me. Though, like, how, like, that's another, like, men turning women against each other right. because of, like, he obviously made her feel fucked up. But mm -hmm. if she would have called me, I swear, if she would have just said, you know what, like, but she came, it sometimes it is sometimes how the woman comes. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie because spicy. if yeah. someone yeah. comes in here checking you, like, why you messing my man, yeah, I, if I did not know, not I did not well know. Like <laughs> but if you <laughs> really <laughs> want, if you was really concerned <laughs> enough to just ask and figure out, just like, okay, I'll tell you, but mm -hmm. if you come a certain way, it's just like, Okay, this is not the first time you've been here. So, mm -hmm. it's that's just why like, you're so comfortable. Upset. You're real comfortable. Yeah. But that's why I'm just a firm believer in, and this part of me growing up real defensive too, is like if a person act like a threat initially, then you gotta out threat Handed them like that. Like yeah, that. You gotta take their head off like or you gotta nip it in the bud you, like because if you them. keep being, sometimes you being nice be setting you up to deal with more riffraff and more bullshit. So, that's why I just like to call a spade a spade and like just keep it all the way gully up front. Like, mm -hmm. and especially. Like, cause, cause a lot you can sense a lot in delivery, in approach. Mm -hmm. So if I already sense that you want some rah rah, and you just gonna be that type of bitch, with really don't you don't care what I have to say. You just gonna ask because A, B, and C then hyped you and told you to hop in my inbox. But this ain't <laughs> where this ain't your safe space. Mm -hmm. You you come out a whole lot better. <laughs> drooling everywhere. I was like, <laughs> hey, you <laughs> on me. You come out a whole lot better just talking to that man and letting him lie to you. Other than messing up what I want to do is to really be a sister and really be a friend and really just have a camaraderie of stronger togetherness mm -hmm. and really just tell you the truth. Everybody ain't ready for the truth. Everybody not going to receive the truth. Mm -hmm. And everybody not going to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Those are truths about the truth. Woo! 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, and that's we put just, that on the t-shirt? It's for those that's right. right. yeah. yeah. We're in next episode. But that's copyrighted. The three skies of truth. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's just what it is. Okay, and so here's the open to that. I have a have question anyone, Okay. Have anyone been the side chick? And have you com- comfortably known that you were the other woman no. and you played that game? Hell no. Yeah. Yeah. Am I, that's why I think I, I feel, like, feel like things that have happened to me after that were like karmic. That's right. That's what I was about to ask. That's what I was about to ask. My ex, like with like him cheating, I was like, I really was in that headspace and like this just so, shows like how much I've changed as a person and grown yeah. since then. But I used to, right? <laughs> Pat on the back. No, like I really used to like not give a fuck like yeah. i would like savage i would like right. i never had like a relationship with like a guy that was with somebody or married but i would sleep with you if you had a girlfriend i, yeah. I slept with guys that were married yeah i didn't care didn't and i never that. like nothing ever happened nobody ever found out right. luckily so i was never in a confrontation with any other woman about that but i just didn't care and i feel like that's like super bad karma yeah. itself mm-hmm. Yeah, was that your question? No. Because that was asking about when the girl was telling you what was going to happen to you and what was going to happen to your daughter. Yeah, she was acting like 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 karma was going to come my way, but I ain't do shit. So I was just like, 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 yeah, but... but, but, So this is why I say sometimes you have to be very, very defensive and guarded to block a person from even wanting to mess with you Mm -hmm. like that on a spiritual realm because words have power. So... That's why I'm a Ain't big nobody believer. that powerful But I'm the me. type of person if someone you. comes to me on some real spicy, like, you're fucking with my man, fuck you, da da da, da I'm going to be like, I hope you reach understanding. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah, that's what we're going to do And bl- that's going to be the only response you get from me. I'm going to block you, clear you out my messages, and I got a life to live, my baby. You're yeah. clearly miserable over yeah. there. Yeah, that's true, too. But then, too, I'm a firm believer in... I try to always, like, Drake say, do right and kill everything. Like, he said that? He did. He said that. He did say that. Do right and kill everything. D-R-A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, like, Drake. Drake all the time. Oh, I get it. He literally said that. I didn't make that up. Oh. It's hitting me now. His name. Look, I'm sitting here calling him on the side. I'm like, Drake. I didn't know y'all was talking about breaking his damn name down. Okay. Look. I am so protective. I worked very hard to be here. Period. And if you come to me trying to threaten my peace, my first natural instinct is... Bite your head off. You know, like, I want to get you. Because don't come for me like that. Because I'm working on peace. I'm choosing peace, bitch. Don't come to me on that. But if I get you, I'm choosing peace, bitch. I'm choosing peace. Comma bitch. bitch. <laughs> That's going on a t shirt too. But oh no, like I'm over here trying to choose peace, and here you come poking the bear, like leave me alone. So sometimes you gotta overreact. Boom. Fast forward. If you give a person space to drag your name, to spread falses, to do all this, if you let that person run amok with that, you got all this energy, this negative energy with you out there in the universe. And I do believe sometimes that you have to set that right. You know what I'm saying? You do have to just tell people, like, look, check this ain't that. Door. This that. Yeah, you got to check it at the door. And sometimes you got to go back and just clean up or, a mess that or was Or you hex shit and you say anybody that used my name in this way should well, not yeah, see the I, fucking well, piece. Because if you sit here playing with me, I'm, I'm on that shit. I'm on that shit. Don't do that. Yeah. But that's I'm why I'm never that worried. Shit. If someone going to sit here and be like, yeah, Alicia this, Alicia that, I'd be like, Count your fucking days. You I'm better chill out. But I'm cool. God don't play about me. Yesterday in, the shower, <laughs> yesterday in the shower, I was like, I am Mother Nature. And if you fucking misuse me and if you yeah. underestimate me, I'm going to come back and I'm going to get your ass. And that's why you got to speak life over yourself. But that's all I was saying is that sometimes you literally have to let people know what they're fucking with. Because Alicia know just what said they're that. And, I, no, I'm like, and that's what I live on. So you know what you're fucking with. And that's why I'm not fucking with you because, baby, that's yeah. beneath me. Yeah. Well, I think, yeah. I mean, that's a way to look at it. And it, it just depends <laughs> if you're looking at the glass half full or half empty. You know what I'm saying? I look at a lot of people as I look at that not bitch there. broken. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Overflowing. You hear that me? That is shattered. <laughs> 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 cannot. But no, I'm just a big believer in 
I don't like to give people no room to speak ill on me. Mm -hmm. Keep my name out your motherfucking mouth. And if you got anything to say, that's why I like to leave shit where it's at. Like, I'll, di like, this mean you never hear what pop for it. I ain't about to argue with you about who the fuck I am and what the fuck. I'm going to show what I am. Because if I argue with you, now I'm a fool too. Now I look stupid too. Now I'm giving people two sides. I'd rather them just have your side and me be over here with my savage. Man, and that's why I was so but, peaceful with the situation being, I was in. Because what the fuck was going on? It was just like, I was uh -huh, perfectly fine yes. with the, what was, what was with the outcome. Presented. Yeah. And, and it yeah. was like, yeah. And sometimes it'd be like that. It'd be like that. Yeah, and I just think that as adults, as women especially, we have to just pick and choose our battles mm -hmm. and just realize which battles are going to drain us and which battles are going to, like, build us. Damn, yeah. I got you two know. questions I have, now. Oh, Let's wait. hear okay. them. So, question, questions. I'll ask that one question later. <laughs> okay. So, at what point, because we're talking about, you know, we have to pick which battles we want to pick. At what point in, you know, this whole friendship world do you accept the lady back? Or do you not? Like, I feel like what's crossing the line where she could come back and what's crossing the line as to where she cannot? So this is when, I guess, women or girl code come in. But I feel like, you know, like, because we're emotional creatures, when you take emotional hits, those are sometimes harder to, like, come back from depending on your, your stubbornness. Like, you know, because it's level to stubbornness because usually after that point, once when you get into it with a woman, you're going to tell your other woman... And that looks like, don't fuck with her no more. Uh -huh. And then if you fuck with her, then be like, damn, you fucking yeah, with her. So now it's just like, mm -hmm. weird vibes. And But that's because the other women aren't understand, ex, you know, ex, understanding, whatever. But I feel like, you know, I'm not, it's going to take me a really long time to be cool with a woman who was in my face and fucking but my hey. man. Yeah. No, fucking my man. And I, no. that happened to me and then we can't talk no more because it's just like Man. that was yeah. just <laughs> that was just weird. You know, like you gave me you, you but either way, it was just like we were really close. And it was just like so I the moment you got the opportunity to do that That was your first thought. Yeah, I was just like, What made you do that? Like yeah. fuck fuck like you, you can know, fuck anybody else. I but, now 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 no. that type of shit, no. But if we just, if, if me and you fall out of love, friend love, because you were in love love, and, you know, we wasn't seeing eye to eye because I wanted you to leave him or whatever, and then you you can come back from that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't fuck my man and come back, yeah. but you can come back from things like that. But I do think that there's a, uh, what they call it, a statue of limitation? <laughs> what's the, what's the, the statue of limitation? <laughs> statue of limitations on it? Because after so long, after so long, of me not dealing with you in close quarters, not traveling with you, not hanging out with you, not eating with you, not talking to you every day, You're not texting not the person you. I knew. You mm -hmm. grew one you grew way, apart. I grew no way. Yeah. And now, do I? I have to consider considering how we ended abruptly, tragically, whatever. Do I want to rekindle that light with you, and only for it to possibly end up the same way? But. My bad, but that's another thing because sometimes if we just learn to accept things for what they are now, you wouldn't necessarily reject someone <coughs> like of acceptance, possibly thinking could they do it again. But that's why if if I want to talk to the friend that did that again, mm -hmm. I have to really work to be like, may like just Maybe accept who grew. she is now, like, mm -hmm. and that's another thing because we do no people do hold on to shit entirely too much and it's just like for for people to be in these me, spaces like right but for people to be in these spaces like let's be here in the present moment everything is happening right now and you know with a lot of love and understanding there it, it is a time where it comes acceptance i feel that's that. like holding but, that space and like holding that energy yeah, you're holding that um resentment towards that yeah. other person uh -huh. i can forgive you See, that's, and release your ass yeah that's real, real too real okay. i know yeah. no that don't mean that i hold nothing against you it's a reassessment I I can't fuck it's with a reevaluation yeah. of where i am today being in the present i'm just thinking but that this now. person comes okay, in you're like, said, oh i'm absolutely not even gonna talk to said, them or look at them like that's holding Oh, my bad. No, you're fine. If my Mostly. friend and man have sex with each other, the only way there can be peace is if I kill them both and get a <laughs> snap special. <laughs> and get a what? A, a snap, snap special. <laughs> episode. 
I'm gonna write you, I'm gonna write you sis. Y'all, I so support you. That little story trash. I told y'all earlier, how about you know one night, you know, I was drunk or whatever, and me and Buddy was supposed to go get food, and he promised me food, you know, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh yeah, we about to go get food. So I'm driving to his house, calling his phone, he ain't picking up. I, you know, found my way into his backyard, climbed up on his little patio. What? <laughs> she said, and... that I popped up in the backyard. <laughs> I happened to. I've had someone do that before. I fell in the yard. I fell in the yard. So, <laughs> yeah, I looked. Just appeared in his bedroom. I don't know how oh I got <laughs> He was sleeping. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> was teleported here. Right. Okay, so I looked, and, um, you know, in his window, and he is. Why am I? You looked in the window. Yeah, I looked in the window. <laughs> Some peeping dumb <laughs> shit. <laughs> and he was in bed with old girl, the same girl that I was like, you know, are you still in love with him? <laughs> but remind me, why did I bring that that story up? What do we just? I wanted to connect. I wanted to connect the dots somewhere. Uh, that you're a stalker now. <laughs> <laughs> so you said, speaking of being in a space, or I don't know, we talked about space, and we talked about forgiving, yeah. we talked about Accepting. coming back, accepting. You're like, that didn't It'll happen. come back to you. That It'll didn't come happen. Back. It'll come back. Did you the open episode, the window? And I, I couldn't. I couldn't open the window. Do you knock? I, I, really? I did hey. that. I banged on that motherfucker. What's up? I broke <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> yeah, I did that. But I do want to jump back on how you said, like, you can release someone, but I feel like it kind of ties with between both of you. It's like, we're all, you're we're, saying that's like us. no resentment, you know, just acceptance because I feel like that's where I finally reached. Like that's the point I've reached on my journey. Like mm-hmm. I've had crazy experiences just like everyone else. And I've had people, you know, do me extremely dirty in ways that I would never do them. Mm-hmm. But as you grow and as your consciousness expands and as your heart expands and you're able to give and receive more love, you kind of just have to like you said accept people for who they are Mm -hmm. and understand that even though i felt personally attacked by Mm -hmm. this it wasn't personal to me it had nothing to do with me that was because of them and their trauma (laughs) and how they (laughs) perceived that situation she she said said, two of my co-workers are best friends and share a last name for this very reason oh (laughs) hell no that's polygamy yeah (laughs) They that is, that's a whole other episode. We got to do a part we two. Yeah, we just. Oh, yeah, because I've definitely, yeah, I got I, I don't think I was there for that episode either, so. Yeah, yeah I missed are. it too, so. Who was there? The one that. No one over there. Two, two here, two that's not here. And yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so I was just, yeah, so I was. the two that's So, like, it's a, it's a, it's a happy um, I made the cut. Damn! You know y'all y'all <laughs> As y'all see, we've been switching girls up like three out of them. She's had the audition. Hey. Right. <laughs> but um, um, oh, it's all love though. Hey, if y'all watching. But that's what I'm saying. As you grow and up, y'all? you can kind of look at situations oh, like, yeah, that was. And what is even good and bad? Like, we can really get into this. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We can really right. get deep into it because good and bad themselves are subjective words. Mm-hmm. But you can approach situations that were like, um, a negative or challenging experience and now that you've grown from it you can kind of look back on it and be like you know that wasn't shit it wasn't, yeah, that bad. it wasn't that bad going through it was hectic it was a little chaotic you know some rough spots but I'm not gonna hold that against you mm-hmm. although I seen how you operate so I'm right. also not about to just jump back, jump back into your life yeah, yeah. yeah. that's where I, I was that's, going with that that's the with, part like, that people the, the entitledness the people feel to you after they fuck you over or it's the before. audacity for me mm-hmm. it's like who do you think you are to keep interjecting yourself and and violating my peace my safety my love like all of like why do you want to keep fucking with me like that and think i owe you the space to keep doing that to me when you're not showing me anything different and so that 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 be my problem like whenever it's an issue where there's any type of breakup and there there can be no uh what's that amicableness Mm -hmm. i don't even know if that's right but (laughs) if if we can't amicably amicably the, what did you say? It means like nice. 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 Like
is it still okay to have that distance? Is it yeah. still, how do you, like, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. still have to extend that same understanding. It shouldn't just be when, when it's some, something terrible and tragic happens. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm cool. Like, if we can just agree, if, we, if both of our energies align to where we just we'll both repel the fuck out of each other. Mm -hmm. Like, that, for me, is, like, ideal. I like to say, like, I'm so protected that anything that ain't meant for me just naturally stays the fuck out of my way. Like, think of how many people used to torment you, like, even tease you and give you shit, and they were such big pieces of your life, and, and you now literally never seen them. I don't have none you, of this remember, drama remember, anymore. Remember, you you've never even, yeah. no, no, I'm just uh -uh. thinking, like, when you had a bully. The only drama I have is with myself. No, like, when you had a bully or somebody who, like, major, or even, like, a bad teacher or professor that made your semester or your middle school or whatever, your day-to-day -day life so miserable, and you've literally never seen them in 15 or 20 years. Once you got out of that space, you never seen them again, and now they just absolutely don't matter. They don't exist. Like that's how things realm. feel. But then those feelings still do though within you because they only existed because they ex prior they existed person. inside of you. Like I feel like all those experiences sometimes are reflections, whether it's a pol polarity absolutely. or it's just whatever yeah, spectrum true. it's on. Somehow you're still creating this, right? So it's just like that's that's where the understanding come in for me or the acceptance because I just be like. How did I get myself in this situation, one? Because just like... What about me is making this be what's drawn to me or mm -hmm. making this be exactly. my reality? And that's so what then you got to look at yourself. Nobody ever want to do that. People look quick to look at you and be like, oh, you treat me like this. Oh, you do this to me. How but it's like, yourself? What, is about, what is it about you that makes it easy for me to do you like this? Mm -hmm. And I also what is wanted, it? Yeah, I wanted to add, like you said, the reflection. I feel like, you know, the whole friendship, the whole sisterhood, we are reflections of other women. And women cannot handle that. Mm -hmm. Especially when you are a woman who has, you know, who's on her on her journey, on her way to divinity. You understand and you can accept and you know better. If you're letting a friend or you're projecting something to your friend who's not in that same space, they're going to see uh, an ugly reflection of themselves. They're going to see a challenge. If they're going to yeah. see a challenge. It you is, know and that's what it is. And challenges can look ugly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's all I wanted to say was the whole reflection uh, thing. So, so, so that's because let's try to like bring it back in. Okay, so we just talked about how you know, okay, maybe I could accept you, but I got to release you and stuff like that. But this is what we're saying that we go through so much of this processing or like just it's so much easier to let the woman go right but how often is that happening when the man fuck up and you be like you know what i could forgive you but I, I i'm done with you like i'm releasing you like no you have you go through trials and uh fucking thorns and fires and stuff and go over mountains before you realize like Damn, like I gotta let his ass. Yeah, I, know, I gotta I let know, his ass go. I know um, that a lot of people, everybody got deal breakers and things that they can deal with and can't deal with. Mm -hmm. Like for me, like my and my dude knows this. Like he knows this. I don't like the concept of cheating. Mm -hmm. I would rather you break up with me today and be with a whole other bitch tomorrow. Everyone and just would. That's like and just end and just end and stop. To do so. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> didn't put that paperwork in. And you ain't be pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> but I would much rather just take that truth that ever you because you can't come back if you fuck me over but that's all growth comes yeah. in like not a lot of people are there yeah but what if they tell you like hey i i cheated like, no no you can't say you cheated you can say i really want to cheat on your ass so we got to end this so i can go cheat oh but you so can't can cheat and then you can't cheat on me and say i made a mistake no, you can't, it's, it's, you can't. It's, it's that's stuck. my deal it's breaker stuck. it's my non-negotiable because i feel like if you can lie you can keep the light going six months you can do all this messy this and that shit it's no telling what else you can mm -hmm. do to me and that's an indicator that's yeah. honestly that's really like a, just a small mm -hmm. little tip of stuff yeah. i don't even want that so now i can't trust you see for me so what's your non-negotiable with females with women with your women relationships Ooh, I gotta trust and her, respect I I oh. <laughs> it's trust and respect um, all non -negotiable. you know what honestly i ain't never even developed them i don't know and that, I just that, was, oh, oh, that was my other question oh, yeah, was have y'all, like, do y'all feel like y'all were raised to believe and, you know, value sisterhood and women friendships? Because no. I honestly don't think I was. And society not structured like that either. Mm -hmm. And that, and I think that's why we're here because that is actually one of the issues because even growing up, I didn't see we're my mom too many. We're in competition with each other. Too many female. That's how they set it women up. Women friends. Mm -hmm. Like, she probably only yeah. had, like, two and that's pretty much it. But I, I never seen, like union and sistership mm -hmm. and i've no for me personally I've, I've always been 
so longing of and wanted that and i have a twin sister so i came here with another woman but it was more so that like even throughout the history of my female relationship sometimes i will have friends be like uh you're not my boyfriend it's just like well i know but shit i'm your friend like i'm not trying to get too much from you but i do want to let you know i value this relationship and mm -hmm. i want to take care of it well, a lot of people aren't used to having friendships like that. Yeah, they're true. not. And, like, yeah. and I don't think I grew up seeing, you know, like a lot of them. I just think, honestly, some stuff just be favor, girl. And you just get mm -hmm. lucky. And mm -hmm. I'm like, me and my best friend from Detroit, like, the story is funny as fuck. The first day I got to the school, she called me a bitch, and I posted up with her. And we was about to fight. And, like, it was yeah. bad. They called the gang squad and everything. So we literally started off wanting to take each other's head off right. because that's me. Don't show me. She was like, this bitch. I said, oh, you want a bitch? I'll show you a bitch. Day mm -hmm. one. Let's go. How old were y'all? 13. <laughs> oh gang, gang, I ain't never been to home on my mind. No, but, um, 13. <laughs> oh, my mama. Oh, my hood. I don't care. I'm posting that <laughs> first day. I don't, don't care. Y'all about to jump me. I don't yeah. care. Because that was me. And, and that was baby Nova. Mm -hmm. So, fast forward, we had to find out we walked home the same way. We, we lived the furthest from the school. So, eventually, it was like, okay, how many weeks am I going to tread behind this bitch because I don't like her? Then we just start talking. And then we just became cool and we've been friends. We went to the same college and everything. Yeah. So sometimes stuff don't start off right. But again, something in her was like, she really ain't that bad. And something in me was like, oh, she, I could beat her up. So <laughs> I, <laughs> I could be fine. I could beat her up. <laughs> but nah, she probably could have beat me up back then because I was so fragile. I was tough and I was hard, but I was really fragile. Mm -hmm. So I think that some stuff just be favor. I never seen like my mother with a lot of female friends mm -hmm. um i never my sister is more we're we have the same birthday but growing up we're nothing like i've always been like more the in the shit and she's always been the more to herself person mm -hmm. so i didn't see it there but i've always just had real good connected connectedness and good vibes with females i've always got along good with females so it doesn't it just came natural to me mm -hmm. and i'm gr growing and learning more how to expand that like how to be comfortable with five, six, seven women that I don't know and just talk to them and just feel okay. But all of that is really just, like she said, a mirror of yourself. The more I become okay with myself, the more I am okay with everybody around me and how they see me yeah. and how they deal with me and how they interact mm -hmm. with me, even if they judge me, even if they tease me. Like, I'm okay with that because... Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, mm -hmm. like I am what I am. Like, but I, I feel like that knowingness of self can also be the reason why you don't have relationships. Because I feel like I'm, I yeah, like I feel like you, I'm so self aware and I know what I am going to deal with when I'm not going to deal with. I know mm -hmm. how I want to project my energy and I know how I'm not going to project my energy. I know what situations I'm going to put myself in and what situations I don't. That's so, true. like, honestly, just from my experiences, I, f I feel like I'm the less needy type of friend. Mm -hmm. Whereas sure. some people are, like, very needy. It's almost like an entire intimate relationship without yeah. the intimacy. Yeah. Like, you have to put in a lot of work for some <laughs> friendships. Bitches. And it's yeah. just like, I'm not, I'm not going to overextend myself because for you can't stand anyone, regardless. But do you care yeah. enough to communicate that? Because mm -hmm. I got a friend like that, and I just let her know, like, hey, right now... I'm just in my space. I'm in my zone. So, but if you really need me, I'll be there. But right now, I'm not there. I feel like, I so like uh, the friends, the few people that I would say like are my like friends. Like if they needed something, I'm there. When they do something, I'm supporting it. I think we've all come to the understanding of how each individual is. Like my friends mm -hmm. that really are my friends know you might not hear from me for mm -hmm. three, four, six, seven weeks. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I might check in with you, pop in just so you know, hey, great rising. I hope you have an amazing day today just to let you know I'm still mm -hmm. here, yeah. but I'm just doing my own stuff. I just think I just think friendships can I'm become very needy, and that's why I don't have a lot of female respect. friends. Yeah. It's easier to be friends with... Yeah. Eh, that can be tricky, too. <laughs> I was going to say sometimes it's easier to be friends with men than it is women because they, they're doing their whatever the fuck they're mm -hmm. doing, and you don't have any ties to them. But women kind of can attach themselves easier to friendships mm -hmm. essentially yeah. because of the commonality between us you know i'm right. a very the emotional person. Yeah. but that's what i'm trying right. to say it's because emotion. yeah so but again everything you choose is just a reflection so that's mm -hmm. just pretty much what it is because i know for me that um i'm not really like a friend that attached but a lot of my other friends will call me a friend maker so i usually welcome women 
and in like I just do and usually I'm always the person to have to experience whether that was someone I should have messed with regardless of my discernment because I'd be like she a little off but I'd be like but who am I who am I I, I'm accepting her right now I feel it I just always feel like until I get burnt by that person Mm -hmm. then I start to realize Mm -hmm. like you know I I did see you hold the fire I didn't think you was gonna throw that bitch I can Mm -hmm. like read people immediately Mm mhm I I literally know right away if I want to even start Engage. talking to yes. Yeah, Because yeah. like I'm you said, scary. I know what I'm going to put up with. I know what I'm going to walk away from. And I'm not even going to put you through that. Yeah. You know what I'm, I'm so, not even going to put myself through that. Yeah. I'm not even yeah. to sound selfish, but fuck what I might put you through. What am I going to put myself through by having to deal with you? <laughs> yeah. Like It's just the energy people put off. Like mm-hmm. once you get to like an energetic point yourself, you yeah. can um, yeah. better realize yeah what i don't know on. that never bothers yeah, like, me like people... i could feel the energy but still somehow that person never leaves she away like from yoda me the same. <laughs> i mean for real like, like everyone comes and I, I, it's just like so then you're gonna be when... good when you get with me you're gonna be good i got I'll these mason jars of moonshine like, my friend yeah. says yeah. she is a friend maker y'all taking in strays <laughs> Yeah, energy yeah, that is you. healing and, I, and and when you build yourself up enough your aura whether you call it something else or not you are healing people who come in contact mm-hmm. with you because you're giving them their spirit something that they've never experienced before mm-hmm. and they like it and, and that's it's literally natural to like that it's natural for people so remember how we were talking about when something um when you do something and then people judge you for it they're like oh that's that's bad about you but it's like no you're supposed to have an open heart you're supposed to be nice you're supposed to be good mm-hmm. remember that mm-hmm. and it's like, I like thinking your kindness is weakness yeah yeah, yeah, yeah your kindness is weakness vulnerable, yeah vulnerability yeah it's actually a good thing yeah yeah, yeah 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 so like i i so i don't see nothing wrong you know like with that i i guess i just don't be if i if you get me i ain't never see it coming you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying like literally you had to switch up on me or blindside, cause like Laura said, I got the discernment. I can kind of, I can, I can kind of guesstimate what you, what, what type of shit you gonna pull. Mm-hmm. So if you really pull one over on me, you had to be trying way harder than mm-hmm. I was trying to notice, because I already then sized you up yeah. to see where I want to place you, whether I want you here, here, there, or over there. You know what I'm saying? I already know that. Like when we was talking about, you can't get nothing from me. I want to right. give you, cause ancestors already said, gang, gang, mm-hmm. lock it up on that bitch, lock it right. down. Cause you're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? So that already came to me. So I think that like I'm more of in some phase of a medium between being and really believing that I am, that I have always been guided, that I have always been blessed, that I have always been positioned and that I have emotionally prepared myself to be the friend I want to receive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So with that being said, I'm not overtly guarded. I do know what I'm going to deal with. I do know the type of shit I like and the type of shit I don't like mm-hmm. and the type of friends I want to keep around and not going to keep around. But I don't go out of my way to put that at the forefront of my initial interactions with people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, You know what I mean? Like I don't walk with that facade like that don't fuck with me t-shirt. Like oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, definitely be approachable, but I feel like there's like you said, am I gonna place you here, 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 or over there? Like I can I can feed your energy without needing you to feed mine and be in my space. Yeah, yeah, no, me, no. Like I'm, I'm the like, same way. Like I'm good for I'll go somewhere by myself. I'll do shit by my like I'm very independent. But what's that called? It's an ambivert. I like being with people as much as I like being alone. You're doing all kinds of people. I know. <laughs> she read the dictionary. She been reading and they said ambivert. Amb- ambivert. I don't and know. And then another thing is like the ambivert. possessiveness that comes in relationships or just having a high vibration or good energy because people then become... Because you have to realize when... When you are healing yourself, you are uh, almost a rarity, honestly, Mm -hmm. because there's a lot of unhealed people out here. So when you're healing yourself and people see you doing the work and and bearing the fruit of the work that you're doing, Mm -hmm. they're like, hold on, like, I'm trying to, like, feel that because I never felt that before. I'm trying Mm -hmm. to see that in person. I never seen that before. Mm -hmm. So you're going to attract all these people, but just... I'm very, 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 very protective of, like, it's like, I'll let you get so close, but yeah, once there's a line, there's a line. Like, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good no over here. Friends. No new I'm locked in with self. See, like, we had this conversation, and I was just like, I, I actually, Alicia wants all the new friends. Yeah, I want all yeah, the I new love, friends. I love, I love, I love, love, love experiences. 
I feel like how she does. Like people, <laughs> no, like I'll have you to leave. Don't give me that because I'll share experiences with you. But it's just like yeah. there's a there's a line because I have to remain the individual I am to even be able to bear the fruit that I'm that I'm. I don't say I don't say people to my tree, but I give them the fruit and I can show I them how keep to the grow them. Right, but I feel like if you're constantly taking in other people's thoughts and energies. There, there's a certain to a certain extent obviously we're always evolving I'm not saying that we're always developing and changing if you're really on your path you're always going to be evolving mm -hmm. but it's just like how can you be an individual because we are all individuals at the end of the day mm -hmm. how can you be an individual if you're constantly taking on the weight of other people if you're constantly you don't have surrounding yourself with say. the opinions of other people but can I say something though like I feel like we all feel like Alicia's a healer I don't think that I'm a healer. I think I'm a helper. So I don't mm -hmm. think that I always take on other people's energy and their attitudes. I just think that sometimes I'm there to help them, you know, not heal them. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel that. It's coming from the Virgo. No. Yeah. <laughs> and like, I'm like, like I, I, I want to make you feel help. help. Like, I don't even you know. What am I? Y'all talking about what I am. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's not the right time. I might do it for you. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I think I'm the right way. You don't do it the right way. I think I'm just a resource. I think that I'm just got, I always just got so much shit going on. I know so much about so many, I know little, I know pieces about so many things. And I've went through pieces of so many different types of things that you just never know what the fuck you gonna get out of me. Cause I got mm -hmm. so much in me, on me, around me. So I think that for me, when I, in any capacity I deal with people, at some point I'm always like helping them, putting them on and just trying should. to help them figure out them and not so much me taking you know anything out of it but that's why I've grown to the point where I am so particular about who sits here 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 and here mm -hmm. because I don't want no okay prime example Justin don't even know what the fuck we talking about half the time <laughs> <laughs> he don't he be like he don't be know what we talking about he's learning everything he's is we learning and um the healer will be like, yes, let him learn and let him sit there and let him soak it all up and let him get knowledge and light and love. And then I'm like, why the fuck he get to see here and he don't know what the fuck going on? No, he need to be putting in on this meal. You don't work, you don't eat. So when I'm that does dealing not with make people, sense to me. Listen, I don't know what this means. So, so listen, so listen, so listen. What I'm saying is that I'm very particular about who's in my circle and who's in the square because of whoever's in the circle, we got to be exchanging. This got to be mutual gotta keep this gotta be around. reciprocal this gotta be reciprocity like i don't like to deal with one-ended types of situations because that is draining on friendships and on relationships mm -hmm. so i don't even like to deal like that so if you're like that you will never be in my circle I and that's the difference of how agree. i de de determine who's who's a friend who's an associate who's an acquaintance that's how i determine it because the people who I'm closest to are going to constantly be getting poured into, and they're constantly going to be in a position to pour into me. I want to touch on that, though. You say yeah. the people in your circle have to be always received. This is what I'm saying. My circle is a period. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm the awesome. circle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I am my circle. And so, my thing is, like, I'm willing. I'm okay with giving my energy and giving my energy, because there's going to be a point when I do have to withdraw and I'll and I'll you know fuel myself back up and then I'll give more energy and help you with what you're doing and stuff like that but sometimes people just don't have anything to offer you but you can offer them something you know what I'm saying like I feel like that's a lot of the times that people that come to me are like people who are they are in situations where they just are looking for some type of answer or some type of encouragement or some type of motivation so it's like I'll give that to you because I've already given it to myself. Like, so I'm not, we're not going to be hanging out, kicking it every day. We're not going to be texting, calling. But I'm okay with just giving you what you need and you going on about your way. We don't have to be close. Yeah, I feel like if yeah, you no, look yeah. at the situations, everyone is still offering you something. Like, even if mm -hmm. you feel like you have more knowledge, you have more energy to give, that person is still teaching you something. To it's still showing you something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, I have a friend that's on the live right now, so she could, like, share. But I literally do not mind people coming in. I know she said that she's too empathetic to be a healer, but I'm very empathetic. And that's I, yeah. why I accept oh. a lot of people. That's how I'm, I'm able to I'm a huge empath. And I, help. My, I touch people, like, yes. for a living, mm -hmm. like, to work on them. It's all about protection. And that's what Literally I tell people protect. all that's the time. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I have a line, and you could get as close to the line as you want, but you're not So, I actually just, when I did my Reiki mm -hmm. over this weekend, um, 
I had a spirit attachment mm. because I wasn't protecting myself. Mm. Can I you mean, explain we can, to the viewers? Um, <laughs> yeah, I just don't, I don't know if I want to go on a different topic, but yeah. a spirit attachment is basically like, um, what a, a, spirit a spirit trapped in my yeah. my body, basically living there because I'm a safe space and. Is that why you look fresh? Did y'all get rid of that? Or yeah. Something? Oh, okay. Um, I literally like laid on the table and couldn't breathe. Mm. And I didn't want anyone working on me or touching me. It was, like, so out of, like, my norm. Like, I couldn't relax. My anxiety, I felt like I was choking. Mm -hmm. um, and the uh, master came in, and she took over to see what was going on. And she was like, yeah, you have, like, this little boy inside of you that, like, latched onto you. Maybe from one of your clients. Maybe mm. from somewhere. But because you have, like, a warm, safe space, she's like, and he doesn't want to, like, pass over. Mm. And... As soon as she started speaking, well, first of all, as soon as she put her hands on me, like, I, it calmed. Mm -hmm. And then, um, she was, like, started speaking about it, and I just started bawling, tears, mm -hmm. but I had no emotion towards it. Mm -hmm. No personal emotion. Like, it wasn't me mm -hmm. even crying. Mm -hmm. And it was just all, like, coming out, and she, like, walked him through, like, leaving me, and I just felt this, like, huge weight lift off my chest. Wow. And I could finally, like, take a deep breath. Like, I couldn't, like, I was stuck. Like, I was, like, like, that kind of breathing. And, like, once she did that, it was, like, gone. So, like, that shit is real. Yeah. Like, like, see, this is why I'm the doctor. Right, and they're, <laughs> this is your symptom. <laughs> She's like, I don't know about anybody. Yeah, like I. No, I know about my work. Yeah, yeah, like touching. <laughs> I do Reiki. I do massage. Like, mm -hmm. and sometimes I do like forget to protect myself. Mm -hmm. I haven't been as adamant about it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, that's how I um, connect with people and intuitively work on their body mm -hmm. because I literally like um, immerse myself yeah. in them. But that's not safe all the time. And I take on a lot of stuff that way. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely, like, you have to protect yourself. Yeah. And that's why you I think... You have to sweep your energy and stuff. Literally. That's why I think, like, I am the way that I am now. Because I went through a period of time. And I'm still <clears throat> very giving and yeah, sharing of sweet. myself. She's like, I'm sweet, super no. like that. She's but sweet. it's just, like... um. It's just a line that I had to create because I can realize mm -hmm. it's so easy for me because I know I'm gonna build myself back up regardless. I don't give I don't yep. care what resilience. happens. Yeah. I'm gonna be back to a hundred. Yeah. So I can give and give and give and give and give, but then you just give so much that it's like you're completely depleted and it's not fair to me. Boundaries. to give so much of myself mm -hmm. exactly so i had to create the boundary like okay tasia you can give and give and give and then you stop here and that's it there's no mm -hmm. if ands or buts about it that's just as far as we're gonna take mm -hmm. it so it's just easier for me to just be the giver just be the giver just be the giver like i mean when people come and give to me because they do i've had i've been blessed you know with a lot of things but I'm okay with just giving. I don't need people to be in my immediate space. I don't need to talk to people every day. I don't... That's not what I'm here looking for. Yeah. Yeah. I get okay. that. Yeah. But yeah. I mean... I just prefer... I don't agree I mean, or disagree. I don't know, nobody. I don't agree. I, just, I know that yeah. it's different for We just all yeah. have... We're yeah. all... We're five different people. Five different selves. Five different life paths. Mm -hmm. And we're all... Mm -hmm. We all got our like, own I thing feel and like our, our preferences for I how feel like I could be people. feeling like... Like old women old ladies little boys and i'll be telling my my friend ashanti all the time like there's some little angry little old lady on me now and i, I already knew who left it you know stuff like that yeah. and i feel like sometimes now where i'm at because then i didn't know what to do with it so i'm sitting here trying to search for any type of master or something shaman to help but at this point sometimes i feel like i could just do this and it's like gone because it's just like I, I decided to put myself in a more uh, abundant territory where mm -hmm. the way it, the way it passed through is it just goes. Right, and, but I always know who who brings it. Okay. Like you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's so funny because a lot of times we look at that and we like if you think to before you really became like your lightest self. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When stuff would happen, even when you had like deja vu or epiphanies, or just feelings, or like the gut, the first gut feeling you felt about something, like when something was bad, when you was about to be in trouble, when you was caught, mm -hmm. when you, you know what I'm saying, anything that red-handed, gut-sinking mm -hmm. feeling, like when you felt that, when you really try to like process it, and you That's can't place not it, true, my but then you come to a point in life where when something happens, you know exactly what it is, you know exactly what's being, yes. you know, you know exactly why what's you, being why it happened. you know exactly, yes. you literally like know, <laughs> and it's like, 
there's so many people in the world that just cannot relate to that. So when they are dealing with you in situations and you get those answers that you seek, you get all of those things and then they can't understand why you're here and they're here. Like, why don't you want to be my friend? Why won't mm-hmm. you take me back? Why are you over me? Why are you this and that? And it's like, like you said, it's been a build. And this is, you know, like just where I, where I am with this situation. And I don't have to be where you are. Mm-hmm. But like one thing that I had to learn was for me to, I had to learn how to like, not just be that dot and not have nobody because when you that dot, sometimes I dot be lonely as fuck because people ain't on your time. So mm-hmm. for me, I I rather deal in a in in situations where I'm like a real little cute little like Eminem, where I still got okay. space. You know, like I got some space. I want to be a little. I want to be like the size of an Eminem or a dime. You know what I'm saying? I don't gotta be a quarter. I can just be a dime so that I got a little wiggle room <laughs> with situations. <laughs> So I have wiggle room in situations so that I'm not alone because that's what I don't want. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be in nothing alone. I don't want to be at the top alone. I don't want to be at the bottom alone. I don't want to be. But when you're constantly connecting, you're never really alone. Yeah, it's like they're not on my time, but they're in my life. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to hear, but. I we to ain't add, here. Like, yeah, we ain't here. here. Yeah, I feel it. I, I wanted feel to it. add on to what you had said when you were like, you know, at this point you're you're just comfortable giving. At the point in my life that I'm in right now, I'm comfortable receiving because I've never been one who's open to receiving love, one who's open to receiving intimacy, Mm -hmm. friendship. Now, give me all that shit. I want it all. I love it. (laughs) It makes me feel good to receive because I've been giving for so long. You know, Mm -hmm. especially when you're giving, like, what's the word? Like, I don't even. I ain't about to make up a word. When you give it and you ain't getting shit, I'm like, I can't give another one. Give us another one. Like you're you're giving like endless love and you're not getting anything in return you know what i'm saying like that's the worst type of situation yourself. yeah but you see, don't I know that, that you're so doing it because you're just doing it see and she's not gonna see it like that right but that's my thing like when you're doing and you're giving and doing this and you're saying like you're but if you're you doing use? the only difference i have difference of opinion i have with that is because like if you're genuinely doing something you don't care about the return it's like i mm-hmm. release everything yeah. that i like my heart be so full and i tell people this all the time like my friend just said Alicia doesn't care about being depleted. And that's what it could look like to a lot of people. But I'm never depleted. depleted. I'm never yes. harmed. I'm never, like... The only time, like, when I have to let people go is when I see what they're doing and how they bring things into my life. But they're never bringing anything to my body because or my you know journey. Because you protect yourself and yeah. manage your you energy. Know when you're and aware, somebody you know else who doesn't know how to do that will be completely That's what I'm saying. It's like a okay, rarity. So that's people why get attached to that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so usually I tell people or a lot of friends, they be like, why Why do you do that? And I'm be like, well, if not It's not affecting anyone, you negatively. Right, so You're I not... choose, yeah, I'll choose that position for, like, the world. The greater or, good. Me, yeah, yeah, I'll be like, yeah. fuck it, I'll do it because, you know, I can. But I do understand all of that yeah. because, mm-hmm. because sometimes I try to put myself in that headspace and then I'll be like... That's, this I don't, don't feel good. Uh, yeah, this, no, ain't this ain't working. I'm like, this, this ain't this But that, not, that, 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 everything, all of our ways about life and approaches about life are for our survival. Mm-hmm. We do all of this to survive. Like, it makes me feel good to help people and to put them in a position where they can help other people. And, I'm like, that's my whole thing. I'm always going to pay it for it. I'm always going to, you know, pour that way. Mm-hmm. Pour enough so that you can pour enough so that we can all be pouring. You know what I mean? Like, that's just how I am. And that's what makes me feel good. That keeps me ticking. That keeps me going. You know what I mean? So I'm cool with that. But it's weird. And it gets, I love the it, word weird. It gets weird <laughs> in situations that are, that have these expectations on them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, you have this expectation that we're all supposed to be sisters. That we're all supposed to operate under this code. I ain't got an first. expectation, but I'm just saying, like, I feel it like if people, nice. was to do, <laughs> if people was to do their self-work, I imagine that <laughs> the world is a better sister. It's like, that's yeah. it. So I do hold people accountable to get their shit together. Yeah. Like, because you. if you sit here, come to me, checking this woman, but you ain't come to that woman, what the fuck are you doing? Mm-hmm. Secondly, if I come to you as a... As a woman friend, I don't come to people as a woman, like, not yeah. anymore. But it's like, if I come to you and be like, hey, friend, your man is cheating on you. I'm telling you because I love you. You can do whatever you want because I'm still going to accept your decision. But don't turn against me because I honest. shared that shit don't bite because I love it. you. 
So what I'm trying to say, because if that friend did her work, then she'll be like, you know what, thank you. But you know what? I think I'm just going to live with this because I still want to be with him. I'm like, girl, do what you want. I accept you. I don't care. But I was just letting you know because I think that information would help you make a decision with who you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. And see, like for me, I get all deep in it. And this is why I have to block all that shit. Because then I'm like, (laughs) well... I don't want to go on a double date with him, you and his cheating ass, and I don't want him in my house, and I don't want his cheating ass energy around my man and his good not cheating energy. Mm-hmm. I get I get over the top with it. I get over the top protective about having shitty people around. with access to me mm-hmm. because I feel like your little shitty aura energy is gonna get off on something around me, get stuck somewhere. My, my dude gonna get a bright idea because you think you slick. No, I'm gonna fuck both of y'all up. But that's why I said and people, I don't, don't want bring y'all around, around me. me. Cause we'll yeah, be at but the table, and I'm gonna be yeah. like, "That's the but part that she and her yesterday, though. That's let's what talk about it. it." And then that's what like, makes it you know? awkward. That's what makes it awkward because you tell them, "I ain't gonna judge you, but don't fuck him." You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Once you put that wedge in there, mm-hmm. that's why them women don't be wanting to fuck with you, and or that's, that's why, why they, they don't want to say nothing. Yeah, or oh, that's why they don't mm-hmm. they don't want you to say nothing. They don't want to admit nothing, and then that's how we get to the but point. It can't be fuck him if she's still fucking him, and I had to realize that as well. I don't have to like who you're dating. Because usually, sometimes you just sometimes don't like that person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I can't sit here and dog who you are deciding to bring into your life because you still love that person, right? Because at this, I mean, and at I that point, you. that's like your friend. Mm-hmm. That's like your best friend having another best friend. You know, you're going to stick with the idea that you know what this is. In, this girl is in her life as well. I may not like her, but it ain't fuck her because. Then that would be disrespectful to your choices, your life, and I love you and I accept I say, you. All my best friends got best friends. My girl got a girlfriend. But we gotta <laughs> we gotta wrap it up yes, now. Yes, yes. So, so we could, you know, go around very briefly to share like how we feel about woman to woman relationships. Final, and the final, the final answer. Final how we plan now. to move forward <laughs> or make a difference <laughs> or not make a difference or whatever. So, but we could start with. Not me. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 I was over here trying to look to the right, like, so hoping no one caught me. So, um, opinion on just woman to woman relationships. Venus over penis. You I Venus think, or you penis. Venus over penis? I think having sisterhood is very valuable. And um, I think when both parties are, you know, focused on their own journey, that it can work out. But at the end of the day, I don't think. Um, Everyone is meant to be a forever friend. Yeah. So I think mm-hmm. accepting people for the season that they're brought in, for the reason that they're brought in, is, is key on all of that. That's true. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that once you work on yourself, um, the right women will gravitate towards you. Yeah. You'll be with whatever women are at your vibration. Mm-hmm. So if you're into the drama and, like, the... <laughs> backstabbing and the cattiness I mean that's what you're gonna attract you're gonna attract people that wanna talk like that people mm-hmm. that wanna be involved in that types of stuff that's right. if you are elevated and working on yourself you're gonna attract women that want that and you won't have that's to deal true. with that type mm-hmm. of stuff hey <laughs> mm-hmm. hey y'all <laughs> right that's what I say look at where we're at right. <laughs> yeah and then any of the people who ain't on that frequency will fall the fuck off they will gravitate away mm-hmm. They will take care of themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I was you want to go next? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, in honor of Venus over penis, <laughs> whole lot of gang shit. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Can you do a Venus? Let me try to do the Venus like this. No, no, Venus, Venus over penis. Venus over penis. I don't know. But I just want to look to the audience and say this: in honor of Venus over penis. Stop being mad at your homegirls for being honest with you, but loving the nigga for lying to you. Okay? We ain't gotta say shit else. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Drop that's it on that. In the live right now. No, I'm just saying. Knock it off. Sure, I'll let you Um, So, I am always gonna say that. Uh, that can you use a whole lot of that? Can you use a good word? <laughs> I ain't gonna use no big word. vernacular. <laughs> no, shut up. Y'all annoying. Okay, so Venus before penis. Um, Yeah, like, absolutely. Because ain't no woman, ain't no woman ain't even about to be around me that ain't gonna want what's, what's best for me or gonna bring some trash to me. That's Period, just bro. that's just rule number one of being protected. And because I got it like 1.1, 1. 1, 1. 1.5, 1.5 is that 
You said two. I don't believe that. <laughs> 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 is that I um, am meant to be with a man. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want, don't think that as a female that I'm so stupid that I'm going to let you get into what I got going on with a man because my ultimate, you know, goal is to family build with a man. So sometimes women don't hear things and they be like, oh, I can always, you know, and sometimes misery love company. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I am mentally protected in the sense of I know everything that people bring to me isn't going to be for my good it may be for their own selfish manipulation of whatever so yeah I am very much always going to give my girls the benefit of the doubt vice versa I'm always going to tell y'all if I know something <clears throat> even if it's something little and I'm just going to pray that it shakes out in a way that doesn't make me the bearer of bad news mm -hmm. but ultimately my goal is to always attract what's best for me, the best female circle, and the best man is going to treat me the best way so that we can build and have the best family. Mm -hmm. Hello. Period, Pooh. Okay. I got it out. <laughs> it was a struggle. <laughs> um, well, for the Venus over Venus episode, I mean, I don't know. I wanted to have this conversation just to see where women stand with other women. I feel like often I always was so like, conflicted with where we stand together but I still feel as if like no matter where you at or level or whatever sistership you do attract ain't nobody gonna ain't nobody gonna be there for you like your sister and that's just it we are women we are creators of this world we also help each other grow like you know like I don't know I just I mean I'm just so I just love women okay so I don't I call I don't mind when women fuck up because we're human and uh, I know like in past relationships the men always feel like I have no type of understanding for men the way I have for women so it's the opposite of me actually the man be like then you give your friends all these chances and I can't even get a chance and it's just like I mean because I, I value that woman a little more and I'm I'm working on that because I actually I, I want to start valuing everyone the same equally opportunity equally up. right but i guess because and we had this conversation before but sex never mattered that much to me yeah, so it's exactly. just like so if we eliminate sex and then i choose where the intimacy or the importance mm -hmm. lie i will always choose a, a, a emotional connection a comfort security like understanding and obviously because of one you know we're the one and the same like we're not the same person but we of the same nature of the yeah. same nature mm -hmm. so it's just more comfortable but honestly for me personally i'm just gonna kind of keep doing what i'm doing Period. like i'm just gonna hold my women accountable i'm gonna go ahead and share the truth where i feel like it fits and i'm gonna have the same when to just keep my mouth shut and just send energy so that woman can figure things out um but yeah and then especially since i have a daughter all I'm thinking about is what is she? What can she see? Or how can she be a great woman to women as well? Because that just says a lot. And I personally feel like when you got a lot of uh, women supporters, you go to the top way faster. Even men know that. Women mm -hmm. support. Mm -hmm. Women are supporters, yep. and yep. I'm just learning that as well. It women just are be like the, the women. number one consumers in the world. Mm -hmm. Like if you think of how your household is structured, the women shop. The you know. Think about I mean? how much you controlled in your lifespan and we're not even into our lifespan for real right. you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying so like pussy is power and I just love women yeah. because yeah. it's just mother nature right so it's just like for me to be so in sync and, um, and to love this earth I'm on I also have to love the women of it and that's just mm -hmm. it. Even if they doing dumb shit and shit, like Alicia is, is, is such a big so person. <laughs> and you're I know. That's yeah. why I'm like, like we yeah. gotta wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. we gotta go get the kids. All right. Okay, yeah. thank yeah. you, y'all. So yeah.